that for each of us a kingdom of our own. Tell me, why should we be concerned about your kingdom? About your people? Why? Why? How dare you speak to me in that manner? Don't you realize you're before King Thomas one day? Because you are one of Utumbra Kingdom. And you, my own brother, conspire with this man to cheat your own people. Do not say I refuse to take my chances with the ground. And by that, I have remained a source of embarrassment to the royal home of Wazi because of my failure in the business life. I hope you all realize what you're doing. Emmanuel! As the next of kin, being that your brother had no child yet, you are to sit on the throne according to the tradition and customs of your people. Meaning that you protect our interests before that of your people. If I did not have any ambition, I would not have hands in the killing of my brother in the first place. So you need not remind me. You don't. That's why you're panting like this. Yeah, this is where I do bush rabbits in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? <laughs> My father is a farmer, so. Well, you're a bush hunter. Uh, uh, really. uh, rat hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll get one for you someday. <sighs> I need to drink water. Water! Thank you. I'm hungry and of course I'm very thirsty. Go ahead. Thank you. Mm. Woo! <laughs> Come, come, come. 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 Come
You know that? Yes. And I love you too. With all my heart. Are you sure? As sure as the sun that rises in the morning. As sure as the air that is given to us for free. You mean the world to me. Yeah. You don't know how much I long to, to have you by my side. And not a stolen moment. Eat it. It's fresh, right? And juicy. <clears throat> Let's enjoy this moment. That seems to be the only thing that we have. to hurt me by reminding me every time that I am a princess and you are a commoner. I do not see why we should not be happy together. Wishes are not houses. Therefore beggars cannot drive. They can only wish. Let us just enjoy this, the stony moment that we have because that is all we have. You assume so because you are weak in heart and do not have the courage to pursue that which you claim gives you happiness. Pursuing that which refills my heart and willingly committing suicide are two different things. Then you are not the man I assumed you were. You do not have the courage to walk up to my father and ask for my hand in marriage. I hate stupid excuses. I cannot speak for you because it is not honorable. If you do not have the courage to pursue that which you claim brings you joy and happiness, then I do not see why we should have this stolen moment. I'd rather leave the memory of the man I thought you were than continue seeing the coward which in truth you really are. I wish that you do not try to contact me. You are a servant in heart. And a servant you will remain for the rest of whatever it is you call a life. Okay. There you are. <laughs> no, now I get it. It was supposed to be it. <laughs> ah, all right. You're welcome, sis. My Prince Jorkin here has been asking after you. Why is he asking after me? What business do I have with him? All right, don't. If you had any idea who this thing is, he wouldn't let him come close to you. Guessing you don't talk to him in that manner. All right. What has come from 
my sister. She doesn't behave in this manner. <laughs> it is called jealousy. <laughs> Esther, please excuse us. I'm very sure something must have upset her. I apologize on her behalf. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to apologize. Your sister hates me because I turned down her overtures. What? Are you surprised? Your sister approached me while you were in school. Proclaiming how much she loves me, you know? I turned her down. I told her that you're the only one that I always wanted. Oh my god. Mother! Mother, I have never been this embarrassed! This joking left in anger! Why? Corey was rude and disrespectful to him. Honestly, I don't know why Ure, your sister, hates him that much. Does she realize he's your suitor? This can no longer continue in this house. I think the king needs to hear this. Where is she? She must be in her room. And besides, mother, now I know the reason Ure hates Prince Joachim with a passion. You do? Yes, I do. Okay, let's hear it. Ure is just jealous. No, don't say that about your sister. It is true she rejected so many suitors, which I, to me is foolishness. She should be happy for you. Mother, she is jealous! Don't talk about your sister in this manner. This is malicious and dangerous. I can't afford to see bad blood run among you. You are sisters. Ure has been lost in after Prince Jack and behind my back. But no, you wouldn't give her a chance. What are you doing here? Will you get her from this place? Now have your ears open and listen to what you're talking about. Come Why did you say that about your sister? Mother, she came back and I happily went to her and I said, Prince Joachim has been asking after you and she, she, she just gave a long hiss and then she asked me why would Prince Joachim ask after her did they have any business together and with that she walked away and what did he say? Mother, I was in so much shock and I apologized on her behalf but Prince Joachim seemed so unperturbed he said Uri was jealous because she made passes with him and he refused when she has her own maidens in attendance. I am not here to battle words with you. If you cannot go inside this room to inform Princess Uri that the queen wishes to see her at once, I might as well do it for you. Perhaps you've forgotten your place in this palace. What in God's name is going on here? The queen asked me to fetch Princess Uri, but... But what? And why would the queen ask a lowly rated maiden like you? Hmm? Please, please! Let's set out this amicably without the seemingly enmity between you two interfering. Esther, did the queen send you? Or princess will go ask you to come and tell princess Ure that the queen wishes to see her. Which? Mm, actually, it was my princess that told me that the queen said. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see? She came here. Feeling so important as, as if she's been promoted to a senior maiden. Jide, 
that's all right that is all right fine i will go tell my princess that the queen wishes to see her at once esther will that be all please don't need to shout my name now you can go back to where you rightfully belong Say what that girl Esther did to you. What has she done to you? I just don't like her. Don't you see how she carries herself around as a princess when we all know her poorly rated background? Really? Stupid girl. Really? I will make it a point of duty. My duty to find out what is actually going on between you two. Trust me, I will find it out. That is your own. I just don't like her. What was that noise I heard outside my door all about? My princess, Esther came to inform me today that the queen demanded your presence at once. Apparently, she doubted the queen sent her. Why? My princess, the queen does not trust any other maiden in this palace except her personal maidens. It's unfortunate that my mother's Behavior has remained a source of silence, gossips in this palace. Help me with my hair. Yes, my princess. Mother? Tell your maidens to wait outside. Okay, wait outside. I'll see you shortly. Okay? What is going on between you and Prince Jorakin? Nothing, mother. Did you say nothing? But that's not the impression I have. Prince Jorakin said you made overtures at him and he turned you down. <laughs> Seriously? That's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Are you not saying that the prince is lying? But of course, mother. I do not wish to discuss this, because I do not know what he would have told you. Mother, if you do not trust me as your daughter, then I really wonder who will. Ah, what is going on here? Is my queen plotting with my daughters to detone me? I missed you. I do too. Where have you been? You promised to take me to the factory today. Yes, indeed. But, um, I didn't go to the factory today. I went to the mine. I had to go and check on what the expatriates I brought in. You're welcome, darling. Yes, my queen. That's rather strange. Angel, what is the matter with you? I... I am all right, Father. You're welcome. Everything is not all right between your daughters. I... Could you wait for your majesty outside? Your daughters are having misunderstanding over Prince Joachim. Why would they get involved in a Zok thing like that? Mother, that is unfair. Father, please, permit me to go back to my chambers because this conversation is getting very embarrassing and quite untrue. I do not wish to sit here and listen to Mother ridicule me over such a ridiculously untrue story. You don't mean to be rude to your mother, do you? Forgive me, Mother, if that's the impression I gave you. I didn't mean to. Oh, sweetheart, you may go to your chamber. Thank you very much, Father. Father! You do not assume that an honorable man like Prince Joachim would tell such a devastating lie, do you? Um, sweetheart, I promise you, I will deliberate over this matter with your mother. But for now, let's discuss something else. Since the day you came 
Hi. My, my car just suddenly packed. Stopped, you know, wouldn't come on again. And you need help, I presume? Yes, I do need help. Okay. Um, why not just, just wipe that hair off your face? I don't bite. And ask me to help you. Okay. Could you kindly go to the next village and get me someone who can help me fix my car? Uh, yes, I can. Um, I could also look into the problem that's if you ask me to. Okay, go ahead. Let's see if you have the knowledge. Yeah, I do have the knowledge. I'm a mechanical engineer. Really? You know what I don't like about high-class ladies like you? Pride and arrogance. You look at the rest of us like ants. People you could just um, trample on. But in truth, we are the only ones that can help you in situations like this. How could you speak to me like that? You do not even know me. And you have the nerves to talk to me in that manner. Okay, fine. If you want to help me, I would appreciate that. But I will not take insults from you. I will help you. But I won't change my opinion about people like you. Can you just start to me? And when last did you service this car? Um, I wouldn't know my um, family mechanic takes care of that. Family mechanic. Just put on the engine. Princess Ure, I'm most delighted that you gave me an audience. In spite of the impression I had. And what impression did you have about me, my dear Prince? While it is said that you're a very difficult person to approach, bear in mind that you run your father's business and it's shrewd business sense. I'll take that as a compliment. Permit me to ask you, my dear Prince. What is your opinion on women's rights? How do you mean by presence? As you would have noticed, or perhaps heard, I am a very, very independent woman. I will not want marriage to come between me and my ambition. Listen, I have a fair knowledge of your business venture and your supposed ambition. As you are going to be my wife, I will relieve you of those things that will keep you away from for me, your duties as my wife. And how do you intend to do that? Yes, I intend to merge our business ventures together. At least by that way, you'll be less assured that it's in safe hands. In essence, you intend to strip me of my inheritance. That would be an unkind way to say it's my presence. I. Uh, will it be true that um, due to the recent economic analysis that your father's business has been suffering some sort of setbacks um, well these are hard times but there's no businessman we say that he does not suffer some sort of setback because of the current global economic meltdown it's surprising me your father's business seems to have sold when others are going down the board and it is attributed to your doggedness and the approach well, if you give me such accolades, why then should I entrust my business into your hands when obviously you failed to salvage your father's business? Um, let's say we are cash trapped at that period. But bearing in mind we are joining forces together, there's no reason why I shouldn't stand on my feet. That is, if I allow you to touch my money. I'm going to be your husband. My money is yours, and yours is mine. Just know how if we join together that we'll be celebrated in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I see your vision, really. You know, let me ask you another question. 
Would you be as eager as you are right now to marry me if I decide to keep my business to myself? It doesn't matter. At least I'll be a member of Board of Narrators. Let's just stop beating about the bush, Prince Nwachuku. If I am to be your wife, my money will not be a part of that negotiation. Here's my presence. Don't talk to me, really. Forgive me. I was only airing my views, my opinion which I wish to respect. The problem is you hate women like you. Because you see yourself as lords and masters of your own. But let me remind you, in the African context, a man runs the home. My dear prince, thank you very much for reminding me of my place in the society. Well, I might have an appointment to catch up with. I'll make an arrangement with you. Great. For us to spend this weekend together. Since by then, you start seeing me in a different impact. Okay, well then. Thank you, my dear Telling you, the nerves. What does it take you for? A woman whose duty is to bear children and take care of the house, of course. <laughs> Damn right. You know what? He should just go and jerk off. He needs the relief. Uh, did you just say that? What? What am I supposed to say to the foul mouth? Oh, what did this man just say? What did you tell Prince Wachuku? And what nonsense would that be, mother? Pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. This is a foot suit so you're chasing away due to your stupid attitude. Do you realize you're an African woman? And an African woman position. A woman's place, mother, does not end in the kitchen. You of all people with all your level of education and exposure should know better. I am my father's daughter. His blood flows in my veins. I chose to be different. And you dare not talk to me in that manner. Is your father going to marry you? No, my dear. I will not marry my own daughter. Nor will I encourage her to rent a husband. See, a fool has no space in the gardens of the wise. Prince Mwachiko and the likes of him, whose only ambition is to go after my daughter's money, do not deserve her. Thank you, father. Harry, did you just say that? Yes, my dear. See, I raised my children to be independent and learn to realize the opportunities of life and learn to use that to their own advantage, not to be manipulated and, and compromised. Well, so that's exactly what my daughter is doing. Thank you, Father. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Every once in a while, a man sits down to think either of where it's coming from or where it's headed. Do you sound like that? My dear, I may appear happy and contempt to you, but there is more to life than you know. Father, teach me. Teach me those things that I should know. Tell me those things that you did know so that I do not make the same mistakes. He who seeks knowledge, seeks wisdom. There will be some aspect of my life I cannot discuss because I feel embarrassed. But I do wish that I have the opportunity to change them. 
alas, we must live without mistakes. I only wish others don't make the same mistakes. <sighs> Father, mother means well. Only perhaps she's misguided at the things that she feels are best for her children. Perhaps indeed. You see, ambition, when positively directed, is an asset that's only appreciated by the wise. For you see, the fool thinks acquiring everything within which is wisdom. Now, I've never heard you sound like this. When one realizes his mistake, he begins to seek for solution. Unless, of course, if he wants to remain doomed. My darling daughter, please, do not be influenced by your mother's decisions and her ambition. Father, I... I love you. I love you dearly, my dear. I love you very much. I know. <laughs> you know what? You need to get some sleep. So I'm going to take this and take this and have you come with me upstairs. Okay, Go. Yes, mother. Your father is weak and stupid. And your sister has chosen his path. But I will not sit and watch you get distracted. Because I see myself in you. Mother, are you saying that Father is not as shrewd and as mean as people have painted him to be? I am the power behind your father's success. If you learn, watch and follow my steps, the world will be a better place for you. Mother, I am eager to learn. I see the way you do your things and it pleases me a lot. But my sister... Your she... sister is a dreamer. She is as weak and foolish like your father. But I will not sit and watch you make the same mistake. Now tell me, which man are you presently involved with? Prince DK. He's been on my neck since he returned from the UK, but I haven't given him my word. No. You should cease to see him. Mother. Yes. Father particularly approved of our courting. Your father does not see beyond his fingertips. King Ozemela Philip is broke. He lost his family fortune out of his foolishness. His son has nothing to offer rather than a title and an uncertain future. So then, if we must marry into money, why did you frown at Uri's behavior towards Prince Wachiko? I see a great potential in that young man. But your sister, in her usual stupid behavior, is pushing him away. But I don't want you to make the same mistake. That is why I've arranged for you to meet Prince Joachim. What? Mother, he is a notorious corny humanizer. And I am a very jealous person. I'm not certain I can stand him. No way. Oh, you can stand him. 
all men cheat. But our assurance as women is that after all said and done, they come back to us. What? That is so ridiculous. How can I be with a man who I know is sleeping with other women? Do you then prefer him to bring those women home to be co-wives to? I will kill any man that does that to me. If you feel this neglected, get yourself a toy in the place of a man. What? Mother? Amuse yourself with it. But remember, you must not be caught in that act. Because if you're caught, you will lose your grip on your man. Okay? You can do it. Okay? Is there anything we can do to cheer you up? Please, my princess. Please forgive me. But does your mood have anything to do with it again? We could send a message across to him if you wish so, my princess. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you think that? It's inappropriate for a commoner to get married to a princess. My princess, I think it's inappropriate. People will frown at such a decision and disregard such an arrangement. Besides, why will a princess who is highly favored have to do a commoner? My princess, please forgive me. It's so unfortunate that we live in a society where class and family backgrounds determines who you relate with. But left to me, Paula, where it concerns someone's emotions, I think that has should be left to the side. Please, my princess. Please. You know what I like about you both? Your very conflicting opinions about life. Very intelligible. What you feel to say is when you are as assumed as I am, then you're less privileged in doing certain things that would probably bring you happiness and pleasure. But if you want and you desire to have, then you would look at someone like me with envy. Confusing, right? Very confusing. But, you know, life is it's very confusing. I would give anything, anything to be like you right now. You know, come on, people with the liberty to pursue their dreams, had desires. Sit down. Please, take a seat. I'd like to share a story with you all. And perhaps be honored by your conflicting opinions. Since I met you, Ken, I have not been myself. He is everything that I seek in a man. But he is not from a royal background. Neither does he have anything. I never knew that love that should bring fulfillment could be so disastrous. What 
do I do? My princess, there is no doubt that he came is a very handsome man. But bearing in mind the status quo, there is nowhere this is leading to. I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. I accept he came is a commoner, a nobody. But somehow, I see greatness in him, which is rare. A courage which even the nobles lack. He's full of himself, I assume? No, my princess. He's bold, fearless, and never himself before you. Why do you say that? Permit me. Permit me, my princess, to say. We observe him from afar. What he displayed before you is not the person you see. What you see? I told you your observations and opinion are totally different from mine. Okay then. Say what it is that you observed. My princess. I see he came as... Ah, please, come on. I've always told you to feel free to air your views before me. Thank you, my princess. I see him as an arrogant nobody who's trying to be somebody. <laughs> now, this is interesting. Why do you say that? He acts so bold before you, when in truth, he is so weak. And he acts like he doesn't really care. But my princess, I see a melting pot of him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, this is very interesting. Two very conflicting opinions. I do appreciate your observations. It is a food for thought. <sighs> he came. I wonder what it is he's doing right now. Greetings, Sikem. Greetings, Ifuri. May I know what brings you to my house? The king wishes to see you at once. May I know why? The king wants you to service his cars so he can travel with them tomorrow. Let me get my tools there. This guy is lovely. Man, you can say it again. That guy is every woman's dream. Like, my God, I'm so handsome. This is good. I'm such a out of your reach. You see, toads wish to fly, but all the attempts end up in a hum. Are, are you girls tired of snatching other people's boyfriends? That we're not fighting our own existence by venturing into where the eagles dare. Ujide, excuse me. Oh, oh my god, I, I, I hate this girl so much. Not as much as I do. I wish I can strangle like that to her. What rubbish. Hmm. Are you so engrossed in what you're doing that you don't even notice when people walk up to you? If I'm not checking and less concerned, about their putting objects. Objects? Rather, an object of desire. Oh, please, don't say such words to me, okay? Or else I'll be punished. Injide, you don't like me. Why? Why 
will you say such a thing? You don't even know me. I can tell from your countenance. The way you analyze me from your observatory view whenever I'm with the princess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's the impression I create. I understand. You don't appreciate the fact that the princess can have anything to do with a commoner like me. That's right. The princess would like to speak with you at once. Is it related to what I'm doing? I don't know. And I don't think you do either. Except you find out. Besides, I did not come here to see the princess. I came here to earn a living. Don't even hey, come on, I like him. Don't mention like it. Don't mention it. Ah. <laughs> he said that? Yes. Please, please, my friend, I beg you. Please, permit me to go and approach him. I beg you. No. I will handle this differently. You know, Ikim is a character that I, I, I find very interesting, you know? You know, everything he does challenges my patience and, and it just kind of stares up something in me. Which is why I like him more, you know why? No. Because, you know, I grew up having everything that I've always wanted. And now I'm being forced to face the fact that, look, hey, I can't always have everything it is that I want just because I am my father's daughter. I mean, I need to fight for certain things that my money nor my influence can buy. I really like it. It's like a, a breath of fresh air. Like, it's, it's exciting. Do you understand? Oh, of course. <laughs> Information like this is priceless. My sister turned down by a mere second. Shocking. It is now I know where her interest lies. It would come on us in the net. My princess, from further information I gathered, your sister, Princess Yuri, has been seeing him secretly. And it's also been said that she finds him sexually satisfying and even calls him a stud, my princess. Esther! My princess. Is that your fantasy about this came or did you truly hear that about my sister? No, my princess. Why would I lie to you? Every maiden in this palace would have seen the truth. Now, what is so special about this came? Nothing, my princess. I don't even find him attractive. Shut up! I wasn't talking to you! I was thinking aloud. Follow my princess. Here's what I'll do. What, my princess? And stop! I'm sorry, my princess. The only way to learn is to walk and listen. Princess, I do have a name, and the name is Ikim, and not hey, you. Learn not to speak to me, except when spoken to. As soon as you learn how to call me by my name. Sometimes it's good for us to be reminded of who we are. And so I take no offense, because I intend to find out who you truly are. Follow me. As you can see, I'm, I'm dirty. And I'm not done with what the king summoned me here to do. Is the king your father? Certainly not. Well then, allow me to worry about his outrage. Follow me, pig.
tell you. Did I not tell you that Princess Hugo is my kind of person? She knows how to keep silly, pompous, hired hands like he came to her place. Seriously. Do not discredit Princess Hugo. She has respect and she carries herself very well. Oh, maidens, assuming you have forgotten, our interest right now is not to discuss which of the king's daughters places us both, but to find out what will happen between Princess Ure and Ikem, oh. who carries himself like a prince. Oh my god, I just love Princess Ure, I swear! I love her! That's the only person you can love in this. Tell me. Do you like? The work you did for my father? I am a mechanical engineer. Therefore, I love my job. Good. Very good. Do you know that I can make you lose your source of livelihood with just that snap of my fingers? I don't doubt that. But uh, will I also lose my life? Do not test my patience, Mr. Qualified Engineer. Very well then. What's a waste? Excuse me? Uh, no, not you. I was just, I was just thinking out loud. Well, I demand to know what it is your mind is thinking aloud for. Oh, well, my princess, they. The colors. You know, they're rather not suitable for, for a lady. Will you shut up? I did not bring you into my chambers for you to admire it. Neither have I brought you here for you to mock my taste in interior decor. Uh, you ordered me to speak my mind. What do you have with my sister? A friend. Uh, just a friend. And what manner of friendship will a royal princess have with a commoner like you? I think that question would be rather more appropriate if you direct it to Princess Uri. I am not in any position to speak for her. Ikim, have you lost your senses? Don't you have any respect? Do you realize you're standing in front of Princess Ugo? Um, Princess Ugo here asked me to speak my mind and it will be very rude. If I don't think so. Hmm. I like your nerves. Very uncommon nerves for a common. Now tell me. Are you sleeping with my sister, Princess Uri? This wasn't meant for me, was it? You weren't talking to me, were you? I see no other person around here. Your question wasn't necessary. In that case, that ease was actually directed to me. Perhaps so. You come here. Watch your back. The little life made him come up at me. Tell me, I'm just going to get that in the room. But then I'm talking to you. You see? What is going on here? Oh, you have no idea. About what? Princess Ugo lured Ikem to her chambers when Princess Ure couldn't make him come to her. <laughs> what nonsense is that supposed to mean?
The question is, what are you doing here? My princess. I'm just get out of here. Esther! My princess. Get out! What's going on here? My princess. The question is, what are you doing here? My princess. Let me uh, get out of here this minute. Esther. My princess. Get out. Have you sat down to think about this for once? Now, have you thought about how he snuck into the palace without the guards noticing and got to Hugo's chamber? Have you thought about how did he sneak into the palace without any of the domestic guards noticing? And how did he identify which one is Hugo's chamber? Are you then saying that our daughter is lying? Who is also there? And our own version of the story is totally different. Oh, shall we say Ure's lying? I don't know why you've chosen to disbelieve Ugo and believe Ure. The fact that that mechanic sneaked into the palace, talkless of trying to rape the princess. Well, Ugo claimed that he attempted to rape her. And Ure says she tore her own clothes. I don't care about all that. It is your duty to hand out a strong penalty for, for a grievous offense like this. To deter whoever that has such ambition. So what punishment would you suggest, my dear queen? Death. He deserves nothing less. A pig belongs to the ground, and to the ground the pig must lay. Well, unfortunately, my darling, nothing of such will happen. Because we have gone past those barbaric days where you can just melt out punishment without considering human rights. Besides, the young man is yet to be found guilty. Is that your decision? Well, we shall see. For me, I would have asked them to hang you at once. But you should be grateful for the king for being generous enough to let you free. Let me warn you, you dare not escape from this kingdom because you will be shot at sight. You must remain in your house till further notice. Yes, you Take this brat off my sight. Take him out!
should be asking you that question. Why have you decided to make my life miserable? As my elder sister, I've always looked up to you. Regardless of the fact that you have always been father's favorite. As if that wasn't enough. You still wanted to take this joking away from me. So you believe is somebody else's lies over your sister's truth. He is not just someone else. He is my love, my heart, and my husband to be. And you believed him? Well, you haven't proven otherwise. <sighs> Do you know if the truth was meant to save you and mother's face? The truth, whatever it is, cannot be worse than you condescending to the level of having a peasant for a lover. When you know there are enemies on the side waiting for an opportunity to condemn us. Hmm. Hmm. It is so unfortunate. There is so much of mother in you. For your information, Prince Joachim is not who you think he is. Mother wanted me to marry him. How do you mean? Ask mother. Ask mother? Of course you signed this. Somebody's lying. Father, you cannot allow this. You cannot allow mother pass such a harsh judgment on someone who has done absolutely nothing wrong other than falling in Ugo to her chambers on her own orders. Yuri, you brought this young man to me. He is not a disappointment yet, so don't worry. I will look into it. Father, father, that is not an assurance. And that is not fair. I see that we'll make certain decisions not because it is justified but because it is necessary what is necessary in punishing someone who has committed no crime is it my word not to be trusted anymore in this palace father i am vouching for this boy and you let me down father you humiliate me my dear who and what is this young man to you He's a friend, and I trust him. Friend? But who is he? He's a nobody. But Father, let me ask you, does he not coming from a noble background make him any, any less a person? No, no. I am not passing any judgment here, my dear. I am merely asking a question. Father, if I become who I am not, if I change from who I am, you and mother should be ready to take responsibility for that. I have given you my word. I will look into it. I do not believe the princess, and neither does my king. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The king said I should give you this. I don't deserve the money, since I did not finish what I came here to do. You cannot turn down the king's gift. I do not need any compensation. I did not earn. If you mustn't take the money, then there will be no need telling the king, uh, lest he takes offense. So I could um, keep it. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, she is your daughter. 
Why would you want to make her life as miserable as you made mine? The child of a coward must not be a coward. Your daughter is cheaping herself with someone that is not even from this kingdom. And you, a well-respected and responsible king, is sitting down here doing nothing. Elizabeth, I have not said I would not look into it. I merely said, do not make a big deal out of this thing because she's not your favorite daughter. I didn't plan it so. I love my daughters, but when one decides to be stupid, it is my right to correct. But the way you are going about it, you only create a rift between these daughters. There's nothing wrong in a fair competition, even among siblings. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Mother, is it not shameful and disgraceful that my sister, a royal princess, is having an affair with, with, with that idiot that tried to rape me? If it is true, now I'm beginning to understand why your sister has been refusing all the men that have come for her hand in marriage. And she prefers that scum of the earth. Huh. It's a shame. A big shame. And yet she still has eyes for Prince Joaquin. I'm so disappointed. She took after your father's weakness. But I will not sit and watch her destroy everything I worked so hard for. I made your father the king. And I will not watch my daughter become a pauper. Never. Not as long as I live. My dear friend, what troubles you? I am walking. Hands can take care of us. If the queen decides to remain under house arrest, then, then we will lack. I am not a slave. Nor did I commit any offense. Your crime was venturing into only where the nobles and the chosen ones dare. It was fate that brought Princess Uri and I. Meaning? There must be a reason for a chance meeting with the princess. I can no longer sit here like a coward. I came to this kingdom to seek for means of livelihood. I should die for that. I wouldn't be the first to die for love. Ikem, has, has your situation deteriorated to the level of seeking alcohol as a means of escape? I am not drunk. I am not drunk out of alcohol or foolishness. I am drunk out of what my heart seeks for. What good will it do you if you waste your life over a dream you know you can never ever fulfill? Take my advice. You see, if the queen realizes you no longer have any contact or further interest on the princess, cross my heart, she will let you be. That will be bending to cowardice. The only thing that will make me change my mind is if Princess Uri declines that she doesn't have anything to do with me. <sighs> Ikem, what? Tell me, what, what good do you think will come out of this whole drama? Have you forgotten your old sick dad? I mean, that man looks up to you for support. Ikem! Is there something I took after him? His courage to follow where my heart ends. You can... You sound serious about this, are you? I am going to ask a hand in marriage.
Yamba. What a waste. You see, I've always doubted your sight ever since this whole thing began. You have just proven me right. You have. It's obvious you're sick in the head. But I tell you what. I will be behind you in whatever decision you take. Your own what kind of a friend do I call myself if I let you down when you need me the most? Tell me, what will I be living for? I go to bed but I can't sleep I'm so hungry but baby I can't eat Not to come to this palace again. I wish to see the king. What? See the king. You must be out of your mind. Without an appointment. He's not expecting me, but I wish to see him. No oh, man, go home and sleep. Maybe when you wake up, you recall this dream. Okay. At least can I see uh, Ufri? Perhaps he can arrange my meeting with the king. You seem not to understand. Ufri was the one that instructed us not to allow you to this palace. Okay then. I wish to see Princess Uri. Princess do you wish to die? Death is inevitable, my friend. Only cowards fear for their lives. Kim, Kim, come. We have come. We cannot live here without accomplishing our mission. You understand? So we have to stay outside and wait. Let's sit up. Let's sit here and wait. Do you think so? Of course. Of course. Now, out. You have to go. Out. Go, young man. Go. I summoned you because uh, I'm taking a trip and I do not wish to return and meet you still in bad mood. I'll be alright, Father. I intend going to the office a little later. There is a consignment I'm expecting. Good. Good. It is something that can wait till I return. I will manage until you return. But remember, whatever you do, please, do not make an enemy of your sister because of your mother's attitude. Hmm? I won't. I have spoken with your mother. She will talk to you. Please listen to her. Hmm? I will, Daddy. Good. Good. I love you. And I know you love your mother as much as you love your sister. Yeah. Travel safe. Yes, I will. Bye. Yes, young man. Um, you came right. Your Majesty. Yes, you said you wanted to see me. Yes, Your Majesty. Well, if it's about what happened the other time, 
You should not worry about that. I have um, uh, arranged to make sure your movement is not disturbed in this kingdom. Your Majesty, I wanted to see you with regards to something else. However, I can, I can come back whenever you you want me, sir. Well, um, I'm on my way out of this kingdom as it is right now. But if it is important, I can give you some time. Yes, Your Majesty. It's about your daughter, Princess Uri. Uri. Okay. Very well then. Start to move around there and start to cut over there. Okay. You still haven't said anything. I have a trip to take. What are you saying? Her Majesty, I will start by telling you a bit of myself. I never knew my mother. I grew up with a father old enough to be my grandfather. So I learned first to fend for myself. We had no money. But my father struggled so hard to educate me. Mother beside me is my only friend. I have no one else. My father is sick and cannot move around. I guess straight to the point. If a man believes in his destiny with the right tools, he can rise to rule a nation. Silver no gold have I. But I see a future so bright. And that will be incomplete without that which the heart suits. And that I see in your palace, your majesty. You truly have a nerve. I banned you from entering this palace and you sneaked your way through to, to, to stand here to talk about love? Uh, love for a maiden? Please allow this young man to continue. Okay, continue please. If it was a maiden I seek for, I would not have the courage to come to your presence, Your Majesty. So, what is it that you seek? Your Majesty, the King of Kings. We came here because my good friend here found himself a better half in your royal domain. So he's a fearless man who believes that greatness lies within. And I'm rich. Mm, father, besides being a good mechanic, this man here has proven to also be a good court jester. Question is, do you need one? Will you shut your mouth? How dare you? Um, permit my actions, father. Ike, please continue. Ike, where lies is your better half in my palace? Your Majesty, permit me to say that it is unheard of for a commoner to ask the king for the hand of a princess for marriage. Your Majesty, I have come to ask the hand of Princess Uri in marriage. Oh God, this man is so mad. What did he just say? Mother, what he just said is that he has come to ask for my hand in marriage. Okay. Who is your father? Your Majesty, are you going to sit down here and listen to this wretched fool? Elizabeth, you will allow me to speak with this young man. Okay. Who is your father? My father is Chibuzo Okeke Obunaya of Uzo Mili Kingdom, a former headmaster and a farmer. Your Majesty, I do not have a name, but I have a half. Well, I hope your heart does not mislead you. Ordinarily, I am supposed to discipline you for taking these actions. But your courage cautions me to think again. I will make some money available to you so you can work on yourself towards achieving greatness. But you must promise me that you will never, ever again make such a nuisance of yourself in my palace. Do you understand that? Oh, 
is amazing. How a bloody nobody who walked into this palace with his wretched friend, humiliated your daughter by asking for her hand in marriage, and you, my husband, couldn't do anything than to offer him money. What are you turning into? A human being? A man who chooses to distance himself from the animal that you created. Oh, great King Henry. Where lies your pride? Where is the brave man I gave my heart to? Elizabeth, we have enemies. We have enemies everywhere. Enemies that are wishing to crucify us for the crime we have committed against you. Have you? Now think. Think for us. Think and see how this singular act can change people's opinion about us. It changes nothing. It will only create the impression that the great King Harry has become weak. They will dare you, hoping that you will make a mistake that will make them unseat you. For Christ's sake, don't you realize that you are not the rightful heir to the throne? What about that? Will you force me to ascend the throne by force? You have never had any ambition, so I am not so surprised that you haven't gotten any. Elizabeth, in your quest for power, you did not take a minute to observe that boy. Did he not remind you of someone? Yes, he does. He reminds me of everything I wish you had, wish you lack. That is the more reason why you should buckle your knees to courage. Well, Elizabeth, now I know that you are a fool. Did you say that? Yes, I did. You are indeed foolish, because if you are not foolish, you will have taken time to see that this boy's courage is uncommon. When that boy stood in my presence, I saw this, this thing that made me tread with caution. This really shows that you have become weak. You call it weakness. I call it wisdom. So tell me, are you going to offer the hands of your daughter to him in marriage? Elizabeth, if that will relieve me of this guilt I've been carrying in my heart all these years, yes, I will. There is something about that boy that I didn't say. Because I know that a fool cannot suddenly become wise. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. the right decision by following your heart. You must have no regrets. I have no regrets. But I feel insulted that the king offered to give me money to pursue my dreams somewhere else. See, Kim, that was a mistake we made. Believe me, we would have collected that money. I did not go to that palace to ask for money. So what would you do now that you've exposed your intentions without? Any favorable answer? It depends on what Princess Uri wants. I suggest you lie low for some time. Especially now that the king has lifted your restriction of movement. Why? Believe you me, the king tolerated us for a purpose. As soon as that purpose is achieved, believe me, I know from the depth of my heart, your life could be in danger. If there is anyone I should be wary of, it should be the queen. She is more dangerous than the king. Well, you see, I'm still of the opinion that uh, you be careful. In fact, I think we were very, very lucky to have come out of that palace alive. Ah, you see, why would it be considered as an insult to His Majesty? You know? I'm telling you. Mother. This is a great insult that we should not let go unpunished. 
father could have reasons for his leniency. But do we? Honestly, I'm curious about your father's sudden insane wisdom. He used to listen to me. But right now, I'm so confused. He doesn't listen to me. Do you even know if this speaking of a boy that Ure picked by the roadside and brought into the palace is a wizard? I mean, look at the turn of events. Father is suddenly weak to decisions. You seem to have lost his ears. And Ure is a big fool now. For all I know, I'm the only same person here. Honestly. If that boy has supernatural powers, we will find out. We will find out. Trust me. We will. I don't want that boy touched for now. But I want him watched. I want to know who sent him. I want to know who he is. I want to know who sent him to tempt me. That boy, his carriage suggests that of someone from a family that has a favorable uh, background. Or someone who has uh, the backing of some influential people, Your Majesty. Right. You're quite right. But tell me, what other observation of him do you have? Uh, uh, if you permit me, Your Majesty, um, Princess Uri will complicate issues. Why do you think so? She's in love with him. And fears are she could be used as a bait to get to you, Your Majesty. Except, of course, Your Majesty will convince her in time into seeing the danger she's getting herself into. Uh, this is getting rather complicated. See, I have never been this worried before. But that boy, his eyes, he stares at me as if in mockery. He looks at me as if he's daring me to touch him. Your, your Majesty. If this boy is getting you on your nerves, we could do our with him, Your Majesty. No. Taking care of a problem is first finding its root and take care of it from there. Yes, Your Majesty. Well, as for the princess, I want her watched. Money to her, trust me. Perhaps. She can lead us to unearthing this mystery behind this young man. How we may find out if our life is in danger. It's all right, Your Majesty. Uh, um, Your Majesty, your trick. Uh, cancel it. Only a fool takes a trip when his house is on fire. All right, Your Majesty. If you permit me, Your Majesty. I appreciate your support and loyalty to me. But we just have to be more cautious. The Queen might be needing information about my whereabouts as regards the game. And such vital information can only come from the people closest to me. In this case, both of you. You can be rest assured that I, Paula, would rather die. I would rather die than, than betray my princess. My princess, I pledge to remain loyal to you and to you alone because you've been most kind to me and my family. I love you both like sisters. 
I entrust my life to you. I will, um, I have already instructed the chef to prepare something special. We are going out. Thank you, please. You will leave. Yes, sir. Who just left the palace? Princess Ure, sir. Oh my god, I should have been told! Aki! Sir. Get the car, quickly, let's go! Google. Yes, mother. Have you had anything with Prince Joachim sexually? Yeah, then. How can you ask me such a question? I have the right to have such information. Because the way things are going now, you need to secure your place into a strong family. Are we in any form of danger? Because you sound as if something is about to happen to us. No, 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 no. We are not. And we will never be as long as I live. Just that your father's fear of the unknown is giving me a lot of concern. My dear, for one to be in power and in control, you will step on toes. And the offsprings of those people will wait patiently for an opportunity to show their anger. Let's say your father, through my guidance, stepped on several toes. Trust no one, even your parents. Because we live in a world where anyone could be used as a sacrifice to achieve an end. Mother, did you just say even my parents? Oh, go. Go, here you go again. Please, try and get Prince Joachim under your control. Seduce him, use the power of a woman in you and get him down. Because a man in love is a blind fool. Always have that in mind. because I do not wish to be tailed. Then we should let the, the guards protect us. I don't want the guards with us because I do not wish for anyone who cannot shut up to be with us. But right now, there's even much more need to be careful. Injidi, why do you like asking stupid questions? That's because I don't claim to know so much like you. Then you keep your mouth shut. Okay, now enough, you two. What is it with you girls? Why are you always bickering at each other? Are you married to one man? <laughs> anyway, we're almost there. There like a fool. Go out and find which way she went. Come on.
I was told the princess was sighted that way. What are you waiting for? Let's go, let's go! Isn't it? It is my princess. I heard the Prince Darkin dreams of turning this place into a place of hospitality and tourism. Hmm. Permit me to ask my princess. Go ahead. Isn't Prince Joachim expecting you? Well, it was mother that arranged for us to meet. Why do you ask? I expect him to be a gentleman by waiting for you here. Very good observation. Not to worry. I have a way of handling such shabby treatments. Okay, my precious. Think she went. I don't have a way. You're a fool. A big fool. You're always so confused. Princess <sighs> Ure. Princess Ure is smarter than I thought. She's smart too. Get up! Now, let's go. Private suits, my lovely princess. Listen to me, Jokin. The next time you treat me with less respect like a harlot, it will not only be the last time you set eyes on me, but it will also be the first day you learn what it feels like to have an enemy. Where did I go wrong? Well, since you are not sensible enough to know, Esther here will enlighten you. Esther, please, educate our noble prince who studied in the United Kingdom, and yet he has no clue on how to treat a lady. My noble prince. Cut off that stupid formality and tell me where I did wrong! My prince, as a gentleman, it is expected of you to wait for my princess on arrival to escort her in. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. And my heart was beating as if I was. Got to stay here. Princess, you go. 
You seem not to realize that I am a respected prince in my kingdom. And I have a servant that can pick your things like that. And in case you have forgotten, in my kingdom, I am a royal princess with maidens and servants that turn to my every needs. If this is how you treat women, then I certainly won't have anything to do with you. Don't forget, I'm the one doing you a favor by agreeing to be with you. Mm? Mm? My love, you don't expect this little effort to get to fracas. Okay, I'm sorry, and I assure you that you'll never happen again. Very well then. forever leave to regret your pride. Fine. Of course, what is even an apology anyways? I'm sorry that I spoke to you rudely. Forgive me? Yes, Your Majesty. Because you made me proud, you proved to be a very brave man. And what is it? You made me see you as a very disciplined man. You know, my heart almost sank when my father offered you money. You thought I was going to accept that money for my love for you? Well, I'm afraid yes. You know, you work very hard to earn a living. You would have needed an opportunity like that. Not to the detriment of what I believe in. You're more important than to sell my pride for money. Do you love me enough to want to take another risk? Yes, I love you. But I have my fears. And can't wait to have you as my wife. Then take me. I am yours already. And not this way. We need the king's approval. And I'm... <sighs> well, your father's approval is as good. What are you suggesting? I am suggesting we flee. Let's just go. I have enough money that can take care of us anywhere in the world. And with your knowledge, we will build an empire. Wishful thinking. But others are cowards we are. We must suppose difficulty. Why do you say so? If we flee, that means I won't come back to this kingdom as a free man. And what is the essence of life? If not for your freedom to move around and contribute your own quarter to mankind. And no. I won't run from the face of an approaching danger. Every problem has a solution. It's just that having to hide every time I want to see you is, is beginning to get at me. Patience. Patience, my dear. I believe something will happen soon that will change our destiny. You have something to tell me. 
Yes, kind of. Then say it. I don't know how you'll react. Uh, till you tell me that which troubles your heart. The fight I'm having with my sister is because... She believes I had something to do with her suitor. Did you do it? No. But that's what he made her believe. Then why not tell her the truth? I'll tell you how it happened. Because I trust your judgment. I was coming back from the office and decided to take a detour from my normal route. Thereby following a road that connects to the neighboring kingdom. Because I normally go to work without my maidens and all that has to do with me being a princess. Also, I'm extremely security conscious. I was surprised when I saw Prince Joachim by the side of the road with his guards. So, here we are. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice place. Well, now that you're back, I hope that um, you will look into your father's business. Because he's grinning. Use your experience, your exposure. Get it out of the recession that is fast swallowing up businesses these days. Yeah, I will. I will. Though, that is why I need sharp, beautiful brains like you to be by my side. You do have that. My sister is equally intelligent. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Um, why don't you go in? Okay? Hmm. You're welcome. recognize it again. Come closer. I dare you. I'm so sorry, okay? I, I, I don't know what came over me, okay? Sorry. Sorry. Jesus Christ. I am so disappointed in you. Is this the kind of person you are? God, you know, I promise I will tell my father about this. And I will make sure I report you to every authority. No, no. And don't you even think of getting married to my sister because it will never happen. You do not deserve her. You don't have to do this to me, Ore. My mother will die of shock. You don't have to do this to me. My family has been going through some problems recently and this will totally fall back on me, please. I'm sorry. Really? But you did not think about that when you tried to rape me. I didn't mean to rape you. Oh, shut your lying mouth. You're even a liar. Jesus. Ray, please. Let not this get out of this place. Otherwise, I'm ruined. Ray, I am I'm finished. Look, I love your sister and I want her to be my wife. Honestly, honest truth, I don't know what came over me. Just forgive me. You know, I... I used to hold you in high esteem. But this, I mean, I am terribly disappointed. 
disappointed. I'm ashamed of you. Okay, I do forgive you. Open the door and let me get out of here. No, Ure, until you tell me the word that I will trust. Look, except you want me to commit suicide. I can't, I can't stand this. I can't stand this scandal when he gets out of this place. Please. I give you my word. Thank you. I won't tell anyone now. Open your door and let me leave. What about your sister? I said no one. No, let me get out of here. After you. I kept it all to myself, but then again, I guess he felt threatened that I'll probably expose him, so he lied against me that I tried to seduce him. Can you imagine? If he considered your sister's safety and happiness, you should have opened up to her as soon as you gained your freedom. Um, Prince Joaquin is a man that you can trust, and he's a very dangerous man. But do you think she'll believe me? Especially now, my mother has teamed up with my sister to make life miserable for me to achieve her wicked ends. Especially because I turned down most of the suitors that she arranged to marry me. You just have to tell her the truth. Huh? You owe it to your sister. You need to let your sister know the kind of man she wants to live with as her husband. Or else, she will never forgive you. Okay, I... I guess I'll just tell my father. Unless he's the one person that I know that will believe me. <laughs> I really want to make up with my sister. She's your sister, please. I love her. Oh. And it's just being used by my mother. I go to bed but I can't sleep. I'm so hungry. But baby, I can't eat. All I ever do. What? Nothing. Something. Won't you tell him the truth? What truth? What truth? My dear today. Tell him what's the truth. My friend Yeah, she told me. Really? That makes the two of us then. Mm. I like that. <laughs> 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 okay, you know what? You should share this one. You do love it, okay? Let me this one. Have my own special way of showing my love. I don't know how you feel about it. Come on. Hey, you don't you don't do this to me. Come on. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, please. But as for baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. I hope you're not jealous. Please, please. We're having out of the other ideas. That's bad about it. Are you sure it's the Kim she went to meet? Yes, Your Majesty. From my investigations, she took along with her food and drinks. If Princess Uri wanted to go for a picnic of any sort, she wouldn't be hiding it, Your Majesty. And you went to where this young man lives? Of course, yes, Your Majesty. And from the information I gathered, he came, came to join Madhu, his friend, over a year ago. And they have been living together. Your Majesty, everyone attests to the fact that Ikem is a rare character who visualizes uh, making a change in the society, Your Majesty. A sort of uh, activist then, Your Majesty. Oh, great. That's what I need. Just when there is a great agitation on the land caused by our detractors. Uh, permit me, Your Majesty, 
permit my curiosity. Uh, what is special about this Ikim, other than the fact that Princess Uri is in love with him? Uh, Your Majesty, if you don't want him hot based on that, uh, we could send him away from the kingdom, Your Majesty. Of course we can. But we cannot do that, because then I will not know who he is. See, the princess is not a fool. There must be something that she sees in him. That something is what I need to know. Your Majesty, I will find out. Will you do that? Uh, but Your Majesty, you will have to give me a free hand to operate. Uh, do all you can. But however, you must avoid violence, if possible. Yes, Your Majesty. Tell me everything. This is rather becoming interesting for me. Mother, I just wish I could take a nap. I'm really tired. The Prince Joachim is to be your husband. And you are my pretty daughter. The earlier you begin to get used to his says you drive, the better for you. So he is an animal in bed. Mm. I had to endure the pains just to please you. Mm. And now I understand what you mean by using sex as a toy. Right now he is completely under my control. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. And you are learning so fast. <laughs> Not that your stupid foolish sister. Anyway, I'm waiting for her to come back so that I will find out if she was with Ikem today. Mother, you know Ure is very secretive. She'd never tell. I am your mother. I have a way of getting my information without asking questions. I will find out. And um, your father didn't get to where he is today by being stupid. No. I'll find out. Trust me. I do trust you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that time, my mom, by this time, she would talk, she would talk, 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 talk. We all get tired. Hola. We won't sleep. Hola. The queen demands to see you right now. Hey, oh. <laughs> Who knows what I might have done unknowingly now? Tell me now, you know you are my personal person. Is the queen upset over anything? Anything at all? That I don't know of. I guess she will find out when she gets to see the queen. You see, Paula, this is why it is important to be nice to people. Now you're worried. When Uka would have prepared your mind to what you expect? No problem. If being nice to Uka is to allow him to sneak into my room every night to disturb my sleep. You call being nice. I would rather remain blind in this palace. You my dignity. No problem. It's my cross that will be no problem. So what are you calling us? Cheap girls? See, let's us not just make this a topic now. Please, I beg you. I know you can talk. Don't make this a topic. Before you start including me in your normal cheap Palace got sick. Please leave me alone. Excuse me, madam. Do not keep me waiting. You think you are special because of the privileges Princess Ure accords you. Don't mind her. You think we are not aware of your secret friend over with all those men you meet outside when Princess takes you out to visit her lover, the mechanic? Watch your mouth. Watch it before you leave me trouble. Watch your mouth. I'm that telling you for the last time. Watch your mouth. That was before. Your princess is losing face before the king and the queen. Learn to ignore certain things. Even though you don't want me, doesn't mean I can't advise you. Let's go. Chica, there is something going on in this palace. A few minutes ago, Ufere sent for Ujide. Now, the queen sent for Paula. Something like what? I am yet to find out, but I'm sure there is something deep going on in this palace. I need to find out though.
Jide. Yes, my boyfriend. Do you know what you stand to gain by being on the side of the king? I want the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Where did you and your mate escort the princess to? We, we drove around for a while and went to the hills for sightseeing. Now, I'll give you an opportunity to think about what you meant to say before you open your mouth. Let's go again. Where did you go with the princess? You should know the princess by now. Whenever she struggles, she takes Paul and I to discuss it. What did you discuss? My princess has a troubled heart. What about Ikem? Ikem's case is even different. She loves him naturally, but she's feeling hurt because he misunderstands it for affection. She only wants the king to take him as a son. <laughs> and you want me? My princess said she would like you to train in came in business. That's if she can convince the king. She, she said that? Yes, she mentioned it. And she said you thought she hasn't noticed how shrewd you can be in business dealings. Well, well, well. Um, I never knew she notices my little contributions uh, here and there. Like her arrogant sister. All right, I will speak to the king. I have his ears, okay? Oh, oh yes, you can, yes, you can. Um, this is just a um, mere formality, okay? Really. He said he went to the factory with Uri, but the people in the factory said they didn't see my daughter there. Your Majesty, I swear we went to the factory. Princess Uri does not go to work with her maidens. So this thing here is a bloody lie. I'm sure they've paid you to shut your mouth. Paula. Yes, Your Majesty. Who assigned you to the princess? You, Your Majesty. You brought it to this palace. You did, Your Majesty. I asked for the last time. Where did you go with my little girl? Your Majesty, why should I tell a lie? We were at the factory. I almost forgot, Your Majesty. We went to the hills. Princess brought food and drinks. Then she told us a story, Your Majesty. What kind of story? Your Majesty. The princess says she wants to make a change. She says she wants to start a foundation that will cater for the less privileged. And that that was what she had in mind for it came before she was misunderstood, Your Majesty. What? Mother? Is Uri going mad? When did she start turning to a fool? And why would she want to waste money on, on charity? I'm thinking this is Ikim's influence on her. Very sure of it. Oh God. I think this is a brilliant idea. What? Paula. Yes, Your Majesty. You can go. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mama, did you say it's a brilliant idea? There will be no need for us to question Ndidi. Do you know why? Why? Ura is beginning to exhibit what I've always known she had in her. You might not understand that, Ugo. But if you watch and learn, you will understand why I'm a dangerous person. Your Majesty, I need you to say a word. Ah, Esther, have you all 
also lost your mind. You were standing before the queen. Speak if you have the courage. It might as well earn you a praise or get you punished. Your Majesty, I only meant to say I know someone who could make Injide talk without checking her tongue. Speak. I don't have patience for cowards than people with courage or you get your tongue cut off. And who could that be? Aki, Your Majesty. And while will Aki be the one to make Njide talk? You heard mother. She just said it's needless questioning Njide because she will say the same thing Paul has just said. Your Majesty, Njide is in love with Aki and will do anything to win his heart. I am just a thorn in her flesh. <laughs> a thorn in her flesh? How do you mean? It simply means Esther is smart to keep Aki away from Njide, which could be so frustrating for a woman in love. Esther, yes, Your Majesty. You must tell Aki to be with Njide tonight. I want to know everything that is going on between Ure and Ikim. I will, Your Majesty. You need not to be told that you will be well rewarded. Thank you, Your Majesty. He came. Hey, oh boy, you need to have seen love. Do you know I never knew Polly loves me? The friend Njidi just told me. Oh boy, you needed to have seen fi. He came. You're down. What's the problem? I was given this as as soon as we return. My father's health is getting out of hand. My father is dying. No. No, 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 no. Not at this time. You need money for a thing like this. Unfortunately, I don't have. Or do I have a job? What do we do? I mean, what do you do? I must go home. I must leave. He came. A man does not go to the farm without a cutlass. You're coming from a great kingdom where fools have embraced fortune. He came, what will be your story when much is expected? Fortune embraces those who are favored. Nay, nay, nay. Wisdom attracts fortune. I will not bag in my future, even for a breath of fresh air today. Failure is only a temporary delay, not the end of the road. I must leave. I must leave for the village. If you leave, what about Princess Ure? You will announce my departure to her. He came. I am not a bearer of pains to pierce the heart. Nor do I have needles to mend a bleeding heart. Pains on the heart only strengthens the mind. And remember. Love can also turn to hate. A heart that knows love has no place for hate. Princess Ure is my weakness. And if a man dwindles around his weakness, he will end up losing his strength. I truly say I understand him, then I'll be lying to myself. The 
confer. Yes, Your Majesty. Is there a crema in this coffee? No, Your Majesty. It's as black as you like it, Your Majesty. They put sugar. God forbid, Your Majesty. I know you're diabetic. Fair enough. It is a bitter sweet coffee. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Sweet and bitter. Just like that stupid story you just narrated. How could you? How could you be so stupid as not to see that A.A.'s maiden has given you an orchestrated fabrication? How could you not? My daughter is not a fool. She knows we are on to her. So she has made up a story to feed to us. Your Majesty, I will kill the man that sees no such thing. I'm even more worried now. My daughter isn't to that young man much more than I thought. It's, it's unhealthy. Something tells me that young man is after me. Your Majesty, if that boy is still a threat, let, let's, let's crush him. Taking a life does not end a threat. Rather, it brings no bloodshed. And I have much blood on my hands as, as it is. Billy came to me in the morning. Yes, Your Majesty. Or that is a compromise than to make an enemy of my daughter. All right, Your Majesty. Permit me, Your Majesty. That the king would not condescend to asking you questions. Ufere is a fool and a tool used to eliminate the king's perceived enemies. But you see, the question is will father see through him or will he believe him? My princess, I cannot speak for the king, but I'm afraid the queen was suspicious. And why do you say that? My princess, the queen did not question Injidi, which is not in her character. Injidi, do you think that there is something you are doing or have done to put me in hands way. No that I can think of my princess. I try as much as possible to stay with me from the other maidens as you instructed. And the guards? My princess, I have no dealings with the guards. My ambition has gone beyond them. Ndide, what about you? Princess, I had something with Aki, but it fizzled out and I have moved on. I do not like this feeling that I'm having at all. Tomorrow we shall all proceed to Wikim's house. 
I do not trust anyone. Not to put him in harm's way. You can retire for the night. Yes, princess. I want us to have a talk. Me and you? Or oh, have you forgotten where your heart rub is? That is what I want us to talk about. There's no heart rub. It was all a mistake. Oh, please spare me the details. If she's no longer available, look for someone else. Didi, please. It took me a lot of courage approaching you. Knowing that you're very upset with me. Please don't let me down. You'll be giving us that reasons to laugh at me. Because she knows you're my true love. Stop. What is it? Hmm? I'm very sorry. I missed you so much. Please don't break my heart. Break your heart? You broke my heart. All I asked for was a shoulder to lean on. And you messed me up. Please, it was a huge mistake. See, I, I have a feeling Esther is a witch. I have a feeling she bewitched me. No, you are my true love. I knew someday you would come back to your senses. I have, and I'll never lose it again. Are you on Tuesday? No, I'm off the money. So, can we be together then? You don't need my permission, do you? Okay, let me go to my quarters and make sure there's no gossip, okay? I'll okay. see you later. Okay. I'll be behind. Bye. Bye. I've been watching you. So have I. You've resorted to secrecy. But what you don't know that I am the master of that game. It is not. This is a time of retribution. I am getting old. So it is time for me to make amends with my creator. In foolishness? No. By being wise. Have you ever thought? of what will happen to your daughters if your enemies succeed. We live in fear because we created avenue for it. Now I'm getting older. I need to show kindness to these people to whom have been wicked in the past. I don't want to die with all this wickedness in my heart and this much blood in my hands. I pity you. I pity you so much because you don't know what you're doing. If you die, your corpse will be carried around this kingdom. You will be disgraced even in death. But let me promise you one thing. Before then, my children will be well secured. <laughs> Elizabeth, what? Did you say children? What children? You know that you're fighting just because you want to be different? Or you go that you're misleading just the way you're misleading? You are the most ungrateful being I've ever seen in my life. I made you a king. All you do is fall around and blame me, you coward. Isn't it? You didn't make me king. No. It is my right to my brother become diseased. See, what you're succeeding in doing is making me a murderer. A butcher of innocent people. Elizabeth, you are the devil's incarnate. You didn't know that? And if there's anything worse than hell, now that is where you belong. You should have married your brother and not a coward. See, I was stupid enough not to realize that the motive behind you throw yourself at me is vengeance. You see, you wanted the woman who took your love to suffer. And you used me to achieve your aim. But you see, you would die in wickedness. 
I never knew you hated me this much. After all I've done for you. Huh? Elizabeth, if I should fall for your antiques at this age, then I am indeed a fool. I am getting old. Allow me to make amends with my creator. Please, that's all I ask. Please. I am your creator. I will destroy you. Elizabeth, you seem angry. What is the matter with you? Florence, your brother's wife. What about Florence? What has she done this time? She mocks me all the time. I don't know if it's because she's a queen. How? The other day, we had a meeting on how to move women forward in this kingdom. Other women stood and gave their opinion. Immediately, I took the floor to give mine. She hushed me down. And the next minute she turned and asked me if I had anything to say. And I just steps her to sit down again. Yes, she does that every time, over and over again. It's not fair. Well, I I spoke with the king uh, the other day about how the Queen Beyoncé was doing. And he promised me that he will speak with her. I mean, in case she's actually behaving towards you like that. Harry. Are you saying that I'm lying? No, Elizabeth, no. What I'm saying is that you could have misunderstood the Queen's attitude. Harry, are you by any means saying that I'm envying her? No. Is that what you're trying to say? No, Elizabeth. No. What I'm saying is I'm tired of hearing this. It is either the Queen this today, Queen's does that tomorrow. Why, Elizabeth? Why are you always faulting whatever the Queen says I'm so or does? I'm disappointed in you. Your brother cannot side me against his wife. He is more than a man than you are. Elizabeth. 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 Why do you speak to me in this manner? Because Thomas, your brother, will never criticize his wife, even if she's wrong. That's what makes a woman proud. You are so weak. For Christ's sake, I wonder what I saw that made me accept you. very well because we cut it for over two years while you were away in Great Britain for your studies. She married you because I left her to marry Florence. You were telling me my wife is ambitious. No. Elizabeth loves the seat of power. She likes to be in a position of authority. When it didn't work between us, she shifted to you because she wants to be close to the seat of power. Why did you not tell me all this before I married her? You know you wouldn't listen. You wouldn't listen to anyone. Because she was so much in love with her. But Elizabeth knows no love. Her quest to dominate, her quest to rule, and her quest to use her powers against her perceived enemies rules her world. And she will not stop at anything to get it. Elizabeth, I didn't know these things. I didn't. Well, now you know. 
You have to manage it because you've already married her. Elizabeth. You have to deal with my brother. Elizabeth. Yeah. And what did you say? I was shocked. I was shocked because I've been tutored by the woman I married. The woman I thought I knew. Henry, you're a big fool. You mean someone said all that about your wife and you couldn't take any action? Elizabeth, Thomas is not just anyone. He is my elder brother. The king! Cross your mind that I dumped him because of you and that he still desires me? Despite the fact that he knows I'm married to his little cousin? Oh, I, I know my brother. He would do no such thing. My brother is a man of dignity. There are so many things you don't know, my dear husband. And you remain ignorant of it, except you allow me to help you. Do you know that you're supposed to be a director in your family business? If Thomas would let you? How can I be in charge? Elizabeth, how can I be in charge when Thomas, the chairman, is still alive and active? You talk like this because you don't know your right. Thomas is supposed to relinquish all authority in that company to you and remain an advisor. His position is to rule the kingdom and not the business world. Elizabeth, we have an advisory board of which Thomas is the chairman and I the vice chairman. And that is his rightful position, the advisor and not the chairman. Where in the world did this bizarre idea come from? Henry, for God's sake, I am still an active young man and cannot suddenly retire from business just because I'm the king. If you are agitating to be more involved and in control of our business, I will give you a new position. It's not bad for a start. At least you are now in charge of all financial transactions of your family wealth. See, if I didn't push you, you wouldn't have gotten this. Hmm. Yeah, well, well, I doubt you. That is why it is good that you listen to me. I mean well for this family. I mean well for us. All I want is for my husband to be well respected and in charge. That's all I want. Well, I understand. I appreciate it. Good. Hmm. Henry, it's time we acquire wealth. A man with strong financial backing attracts favor and respect from people. I want you to be so strong that even Thomas, your brother, will begin to envy you. Why would my own brother envy me? Ah. If you are in charge of the financial world, you can't even usurp his authority as a king. Well, well I hope you understand that um, if, if, if I control the financial resources, it doesn't translate to this power you're talking about. Yes, I know. It, but it will at least give you the opportunity to explore into some other areas that your company haven't even thought of doing. Yeah, think. Well, you do have brilliant ideas. Well, I, well, well, I understand that. Thank but you. Where am I supposed to get the financial support to go into such ventures? What kind of question is that? If you were my husband, I would say this is a stupid question. Don't you know that with your position in that company, you can get into any business of your choice? All you have to do is to finance whatever business it is with the family wealth. But make sure you put it back before it's discovered missing. But if, if I fail to put back this money, then what happens? Oh, for Christ's sake, I hate it. 
I hate it when a man thinks of failure before he even ventures into it. Hurry for Christ's sake, for once in your life, stand up and take a risk. Then sit back and enjoy the reward. Take a risk for once. Overseas trip with a, a Chinese company regards mining in our kingdom. Oh, yes, I did. Um, but, uh, why would you take such a decision without consulting me or the advisory board members? Well, but, but I intend to consult with you as soon as the deal clicks. But, but um, deal clicks, your offshore account has been credited with millions of dollars. That is traced back to the Chinese mining giants. You have been digging into my business dealings. You have enough to entrust you with the financial dealings of the company without checking on how you run your office. That would be very foolish. Now, remember, I'm very much aware of the huge amounts of money that you'll be making using the company's finances to run your private business. I ignore it, not because it's right, because you're my brother. Any way that I can help you to succeed. Well, I appreciate that. But you will see that I have not been involved in any financial malpractice. I mean, admit it, I dig my hands into the pots every now and then, but I always return every money, every bit of money that I take from there. I return it. Have you ever thought about how the other board members will react to this when they come to find out what you've been doing? I can handle them. I can handle them. Because they always benefit from all the digs that I do. You can't handle no one. You can't handle no one because what you're doing is illegal. As far as the Chinese mining company, you must return the money that you took from them and cancel the license that you granted them. Listen to what you're saying. Thomas, do you know what you're saying? Millions of dollars exchange hands and that's just signing fees. Listen, come, come in this with me here. Yeah? If we team together, we can make a ridiculously huge amount of money. Believe me, the mining right is now for you to grant. The kingdom does not belong to our family, but to the people. Who are the people? No. Who are the people? You are the king and your word is Lord. I represent the people. The common man, the artisan, the market women. I cannot take any decision that concerns them and the future of their children without consulting them. If you like, consult them. Go ahead, consult them. But make sure we do not lose money because due process was not taken in the first place. You seem not to understand where I'm coming from. Let me understand. The money you took from the Chinese company, return it and cancel the license that you granted them or I'll force you to resign your position. I will institute a legal action against you for financial malpractice and fraud. We're talking millions of dollars here. You have the right to grant license to any one of your choice. After all, the kinship belongs to you and Thomas. He doesn't have a child yet. I just don't understand. Why? I don't know why Thomas would take such a, a harsh decision that would not only humiliate me, but can also ruin me. Is it not obvious? He wants you to remain under him. It is called jealousy. Because he has realized that within a short time you might grow to challenge his authority. That is why. So the, the, the thing is, if I return the money to the Chinese company, mm -hmm. then I'll lose face. And it will definitely affect my future dealings. On the other hand, if I do not return this money, oh, nothing I... will happen. I know your brother. His next plot will be to eliminate you. That is if you let him. What, what are you suggesting? Accidents have known to happen to men that oppose him. Would you let him do that to you? Oh no. Elizabeth, come on. Thomas is my brother. He will have no hand in such things. He will do exactly that. As soon as he realizes that you're out there to humiliate him, he will do everything to protect his name more than you, his brother. So, what, what do you suggest I do? I suggest that you call the other board members for a meeting. Tell them how much is involved in this mining business. These people are greedy people. They'll grab the money and betray him. Trust me. 
telling you. No, you are out of your mind. Thomas is the king. His word is Lord. That is if he's alive. A dead man has no voice. Come on, Henry. Take your chances or regret and grieve in your grave. What? You have an option to do the right thing. But let me tell you, you have an option. If they humiliate and disgrace you out there, me, your wife, will move on with my life. I won't wait for you, Henry. You have the right to make the right choice now. evacuating by morning. What? My princess, Aki gave no other reason other than Princess Uwe feels that his life is in danger. The rich did. I personally discussed his life and death. Amazing. Why is my sister seeing that phone? My princess, you never can tell. Maybe he's good or bad. I wanted to find out for myself, but easier for you to cooperate with me. Well, thank you for the information. Mother will be well pleased, and you will be rewarded. Getting ready to leave. 
What is the time? It's about uh, 4 a.m. now. Wait. Why can't you wait till at least 6 a.m.? No, I want to live with the first boss out of the kingdom. I don't know. I don't know. I just couldn't sleep. Kim, you're worried. Ah. Yeah, but I'm not worried about my father. I just don't like the way I'm feeling. It's understandable. I don't care. I'm just believing now. There you are. Make sure you lock the door. Good job. This morning. Why did he send us here? Let's see. What about you? Who's the more forgot? Just last night, I was asking engineer things about him. Why would you do that? <sighs> Nothing, just curiosity. That is so unfortunate. I hope he's still alive. Huh? What have you done? Huh? What is happening with this? I hear those killers took him away. Who said? That was what I heard. The green one. Was I not the one that told you about that? Where yeah, SDJ hide? Yeah. I thought you said so. You said what? I didn't say anything. Oh my god. What did that for my today? Who knows? This is so sad. Huh? I can't believe this. I just oh can't go with this. This is serious. I must still be killed. This is so so important. Oh my god. Oh.
This is sad. Very sad and worrisome. Such senseless killing will not be permitted in my kingdom. Now, I am going to instruct the chief of police to make sure everyone involved in this act is rounded up. I can't encourage this in this kingdom. Thank God he's no longer working in the palace. Mm -hmm. The people would have said that he has offended the king and you ordered them to kidnap him. And kill his friend too. Mother, that is a very wicked thing to say. What did I say wrong? Mother is just being modest. People like to gossip, you know. If Ikem is alive, I will find him. Father, please, excuse me. Considering the fact that Uri and Ikem are friends, your choice of words were not appropriate, my dear. What should I have done? Bother myself over someone I don't know? Or worry over a boy that's sneaking to the palace to rape my daughter? Hmm? Father, it's possible he's done the same thing elsewhere. And the person he raped organized for his disappearance and killed his friend. It's very, very possible, my dear. Not your father here who would rather compensate him for abusing your womanhood. Oh well, he raped me. If he had succeeded, I would have killed him in my bed. I had a premonition that something like this was bound to happen. Why would anyone want to kill or kidnap poor innocent Madhu? I wish I had answers to that question, but I, I don't. I mean, I, I don't know what, for some reason, I have the strong feeling that whoever sent those men is from this palace. My princess, remember those men we saw driving out when we approached Madhu's house? You think they're the ones? I don't know. I don't know, my princess. But they look suspicious to me. And the way they were looking, as if perhaps they recognize you. Are you okay? Yes, my princess. I'm just worried. This is the first time I'm seeing a corpse, and it has a serious effect on me. Maybe you should see a doctor. No, I'm fine. I'm fine, my princess. Are you sure? Okay, just um, uh, go, go to your chambers and, and just rest. Okay? I'm sure you'll feel better. Okay? Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Hey, princess. I don't think Injide is saying the truth. Why do you think that? I don't Since she saw that corpse, she has been behaving very funny. It's expected. She's still in shock. No, my princess. I know Injide very well. I know her very, very well. I don't think it's that corpse she saw that is making her to behave that way. And what exactly do you think could be the cause for her behaving that way? I don't know now, my princess, but I'll make it my point of duty to find out. I'll find out. Oh, God, I, I don't know. Not 
tell me everything I need to know before I implicate you. Implicate me? I don't get it. Oh. Listen to me. I am no fool. Last night you asked me questions about Ikein. And you were so persistent and I told you everything I knew about him. Look, Njide, I was only curious. I mean, it's no secret that Princess Uri had a source spot for him. I just wanted to find out there was something special about him. If I find out that you use the information against me, you will not like me. And I will tell the princess and the king everything. I swear I know nothing. Okay. I recall telling you that we were going to Ikim's house to tell him to go somewhere safe. And now he's missing and his friend dead. Tell me, how did that happen? Why are you looking at me like that? I know nothing about what happened to them. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. God, now I, I feel like I betrayed my princess. I'm watching you. Esther. What? Please, I want to have a word with you. Please excuse us. Hey! Are you mad? What did you do with the information I gave you about it came? What kind of stupid question is that? Look, I find it strange that you came to me to find the information about it came for the Queen. And now he's missing and his friend dead. Hmm. Why don't you go ask the Queen yourself? Or you want me to go ask her on your behalf? What? Yes. Are you out of your mind? They don't ask me just stupid questions next time. Stop. Why are you acting like there's something wrong? Yes, something is wrong. What have I done wrong? Spending the night with Injide, that is what you've done wrong. <gasps> you sent me! For Christ's sake, I sent you to get the information for the Queen from Injide. I never asked you to spend the night with her. So don't disturb me again. Mother, are you by any chance behind what happened to Ikema and his late friend? Why the question? Based on the information I gave you. The information was basically to know his whereabouts with your sister. And besides, I've told you to learn and watch how I handle things. Not to sit here to ask me stupid questions. Uh, Alright, I'm learning. Meanwhile, I wanted to tell you that Prince Joel came sent for me. You won't go to see him. Learn to make yourself unavailable. Invite him over. He should begin to visit this palace so your father will accept him in here. Okay. So what do I do then? Send him a note through your maiden. Right now, I want you to go in and visit your sister. Sympathize with her over the loss of Ikem and the friend. And why would I do that? Because the way she is now, she will draw you closer and begin to trust you again. Oh God, Mother! You know, it is very difficult to understand you. The moment you begin to understand me, it wouldn't be difficult for you to destroy me. Why you Instead of her bringing a bomb here. Dear Prince Joachim, something very unfortunate happened today at the palace. Therefore, I will not be able to come as you requested. However, I suggest you come to the palace to see me. We can still have our privacy in my chamber, undisturbed. Your love, Princess Ugo Mwezi. What 
is your name? Esther, your majesty. Do you think Princess Ugo is making any sense? Yes, Your Majesty. And did you realize that you are such a beautiful girl. Thank you, Your Majesty. Shut up! And come here. I say, come closer. Are you afraid? No, Your Majesty. Do you think you would be foolish enough to tell this to the princess? No, Your Majesty. I swear I won't. Even if you do, the queen will chase you away from the palace. And I swear to God, the princess will kill you. She will kill you for false allegation against me. <laughs> I won't hurt you. Give me your hands. <laughs> my, my face, my face, please. Hold my hands. I, Hebrews Joachim, demand that you give me your hands! My face, man! My face! I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, me too. And how is Papa? Papa is very sick. You need to get my letter. I did and that's why I'm here. It's so nice to see you. We have been very worried. Papa said he's not going to die until he sees you. Nothing is going to happen to Papa. I'm here now. Back. You came, you came, my son. Huh. Where are you? Where is he coming? Oh, my son. Where are you? I am going blind. I can see clearly again. Where is he coming from now? Oh, welcome, my son. How are you? I'm fine, Papa. You are not. Papa, Why? Papa, I need to take you to the hospital. I need to take you to the hospital at once, Papa. Uh -uh. I don't need any hospital. I don't need any hospital. What I need is you by my side. Uh. My son, before I join my ancestors... Papa, you have said it again. Do, do not speak like that, Papa. Do not speak that. Papa, you, you, you need medical attention immediately. We don't, we don't have money to waste and hospital bills, my son. Papa, I know we don't have money for hospital bills. But I will do anything to see your life, Papa. Papa, you've suffered enough for us. And this is the time for us to repay you. Uh, repay me? With what? Uh, God. In his wisdom and infinite mercy has been very kind to me. <laughs> you, my children, are my pride. <laughs> my gift from God. <laughs> what, what other payment do I 
Dry is bit. Then uh, to pray uh, that you fulfill here your purpose and destiny on earth, my son. Uh, uh, I, 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 want to, I want to ask you for, for something. I want you to give me the permission to sell one of the properties you gave to me. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you will not sell any of the properties on my behalf. You will not. Those properties are for you. And your sister, uh, don't tell them. Uh, I'm not going into that. Uh, Papa, I know, uh, I know, but uh, we need to take you to the hospital. Uh, 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 Please. Uh, uh, no, you can. Uh, I want to have a private talk with you. Privately. Uh, uh, before, before I die. Papa, you have said it again. Papa, 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 I'm here. I'm here. I just, I just want to speak to Amara in private. Okay. Oh, oh, come on, you have to rush, huh? Go get a vehicle. On your way back, go to um, Chief Obuna's house and tell him I'm back. And I'm willing to sell the property to him. understand her perfectly. You do not agree with her ideologies, you become her enemy. You see, what, what mother fails to understand is the fact that this is no longer that age where men are being forced on women. Don't you think your ideologies are rather too radical? Sometimes in life, you need radical decisions to approach or tackle difficult situations. We are opportuned, granted. But have you ever sat down to wonder and think about the, the less privileged out there? Are they not humans? Do they not deserve our love and kindness? Maybe I can get mother to support your foundation, but you have to try and you know, compromise on certain decisions of yours that affect her sensibility. Hugo, if you decide to be mother's stooge, that is extremely your decision. I mean, it's entirely your choice to make. I chose to be different. I will not. I mean, I cannot be judged for my parents' mistakes. No. Not when I have the hearts of the people. <laughs> is it the heart of the people or the heart of a man you seek? Hmm? <laughs> Now, if I get the part of the man that I love, a man who is conceived to be a commoner and a nobody, darling, that should lead me to the heart of the people that I see. Whatever happens to your identity? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about what this radicalism of yours is doing to us? Oh my 
kidneys. Is it my fault that I'm born into royalty and wealth? <laughs> is it? You're still a child, but it is not your fault at all. You see, but I just want you to think this way. What is the use of all this? You cannot even impact on the lives of the people. You cannot make a change in the society of what to use it at those opportunities. Stubborn, yes. But going contrary to our parents' wishes, no. Change is constant, my darling. And mine is not going to be any different. You see, the day you discover who you are is the day that you actually begin to realize how to fulfill your purpose on earth. Now, let me ask you a question. Ogo. Who are you? Hey, Paula. The king wishes to see you with regard to Ikim. Ikim? Yes, my friend. Oh my god. What? Is, is there any, any news of him? Yes, my princess. The chief of police came to see the king. has more affection for an opportunist like Ikim more than me. The good news is Ikim was not killed in the attack that took his friend. Where is he? Well, according to police report, he was sighted this morning taking a bus out of the kingdom. That means he's traveled or something? Perhaps back to his homeland. Um, father? Is there something I need to know? Refer. Yes, Your Majesty. Why don't you tell my daughter what she needs to know? Well, my princess, uh, that doesn't seem to be any form of attack or robbery in Ikem's house. I don't understand. What does that mean? You think Wado committed suicide? No, my princess. Uh, from the police report, Ikem hurried out of the kingdom with just a few of his belongings. Considering the fact that he probably would not want to stay with for too long. Yeah, maybe, but... but... The thing is, the police believe that Ikim killed his friend and he has been declared wanted. No! Oh my God, but Father, that, that is untrue. Ikim is not capable of doing anything like that. Besides, he, what reason would he have for killing his friend? Well, according to police report, there was no one else seen in their house or even near there. At that particular time. The chief of police has also uh, communicated with his counterpart in Ikem's kingdom to find an arrest Ikem so he could be brought to justice. No, father, father, th this is not true. Okay, even my maidens can testify to the fact that we saw some funny looking men driving away from Ikem's house. Well, maybe so, my dear, but it still doesn't prove that these rough looking men are coming from the house or that they committed the offense in the first place. Father? Whose side are you on? I am on the side of the law. Now, if the courts find Akim not guilty of these charges, the courts will set him free. Father, I know that you think I am reacting the way I am reacting because Akim is my friend, but that is not true. Someone is behind this. I am sure of that. And if I am truly my father's daughter, I will not rest until the culprits are being exposed. Excuse me.
I send for you uh, because it is time for you to know the truth about your paternity. Uh, I am not your biological father. What? I am not your biological father. <laughs> Papa, Papa, no. Papa, Papa, Papa. I conceal the truth from you. From you. Because I wanted to keep the promise I made to the woman who brought you here. I kill you. Huh? I don't have intention of killing you. Who are you? Tell me. Who, where are you from? I don't you. I don't you. I don't find him. I'll kill him. Kill who? I tried to kill me, but I escaped with the baby. Precious love. You have a child with you. And why do you sustain this injury? Please. Oh my God. I don't need medical attention. All I need is food and water and I can move on without being a problem to you. <laughs> I don't even care whom you are running away from. Even the child you are carrying. Don't touch him. All right, I won't. But my house is far from here and you need food and water. How do you go about it? Uh, okay, don't be afraid of me. Eh? I don't mean any harm. Eh? My own interest is just to see for your welfare and the welfare of the child. Eh? Do you trust me now? Okay, let's get to my house. My daughter. I've been asking you since you came here. But you refuse to tell me. Where do you come from? And how old is this child? I, 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 I don't think I can make it. No, be courageous. Huh? You are a warrior. You are a fighter. Have you imagined what you have gone through? Yes. The fight has left me. Oh my God. This one is for the baby. I, I, I owe it to the queen. The queen? What do you mean? Yes. He's a prince, but um, they will kill him if, if they ever find out. My daughter, please tell me, where do you come from? I'm very tired. Be courageous, eh? Be courageous. Look, you need to tell me where you come from, and then I'll allow you to look for medical help. Please. No, no. I, I, I don't need, I don't need any medical help. Just promise me, promise me, no, promise me, promise me you'll take care of the baby. I promise, um, I promise I will. But just tell me, eh? where do you come from? Please, please, please. Don't, don't ever reveal his true identity to anyone. They will hunt him down. And you will. And, 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 and kill him. The child will grow to ask questions. Where are you from? And where are the parents? Please, my. You will find his route. It's. 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 It's him. Just. Let. Let him know. He owns it to, to, to his father and mother, to, 
to avenge. They are dead. No, my dear. I know vengeance is not good. In fact, it's not a virtue. I must not be encouraged. What? No, sit down. Sit, sit down. You can see, I don't know who your parents are uh, or who you are. Uh, and the maiden, she didn't give her further information aside all this you just said. She died of exhaustion and infections uh, from the wound all over her body. She must have traveled for days inside a bush. She did not leave a clue on how I could trace my, my roots, Papa. None. None. But we made inquiries. But it seemed as if no incident of that nature occurred within the kingdoms. Around us, uh, your mother, my wife, and I read you secretly uh, until God bless us with a child of our own. That is your sister. Uh, shortly, uh, they, they took away my dear wife. I man should be here. Good day, sir. Please, I, I need your assistance. I want you to assist me bring my father into the car so, so we can rush him to the hospital. Is that there? Oh, yes, sir. They just brought the news that, that my own brother, Madu, is dead. Madu is dead. Bye-bye, father. Ha <laughs> 
Which papa is dead? My father dead. And I'm mad. Oh God, what have I done? What kind of gist will you possibly have at this time of the night? If not your cheap, useless palace gossip. Ugunwa, you gossip too much. Why are you talking to me like that? Wait and hear what I have to say first. Then you judge me. Do you know that? Please, Joa can sleep with Esther. Mm. It's a lie. It's I'm a telling lie. you the truth. I personally consoled her because she was feeling so bad about it. I'm telling you. Are you sure of what you just said? I am serious. I am telling you the truth. What do you have to say about it? Esther. Hello? Oh. I told you I have a gift for you. I don't want to hear. It's okay, thank you. Don't hear my gift. Oh, let's go. Thank you. I have a very, very interesting story to tell you. Do you know that Esther slept with Prince Joaquin? Who doesn't know you and your gossips in this palace? Why would you say the prince slept with Esther, the palace dog? Does it make sense to you? You think I'm lying? It was Prince uh, Ugo that sent Esther to the prince. But when she got there, he raped her. And for your own information, the prince is even planning to take Esther away from this palace if you don't know now. Go and come. Are you telling me the truth? Ah, why should I lie over such a thing? I am telling you the truth. And then Esther is a fool. Mm. And you are the bigger fool. Hmm? No, 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 no. Wait. Why will you say such a thing to me? Because you allowed Aki to touch you after embarrassing you by going back to Esther in the first place. But that's not true. That's not true. We, we didn't do anything. Please, you think we don't know? We know everything. It was even Esther that sent him to you and he tried you and you failed. We know everything. How did you know that? It was a... Uh, who told you? Who even told each other? Okay, it was Aki that told Oka. And Oka told you. I know everything. Everything that's going on in the palace, I know everything. <laughs> what else did Aki tell Oka? Aki told Oka that he wants to get certain information from you. But come on, Chide. You know we are not close, as in close. We are not close. But I must tell you the truth. We are very, very fine girl. Check out yourself now. You are a very beautiful girl. So stop disgracing yourself around this palace with everybody. Else. This palace is too small for you to disgrace yourself. Hmm? Just down. Eh? Just a good girl like you. Who knows? Maybe you might find ever in the eyes of the prince, just like Esther now. <laughs> No problem. I've told you that before and I've just told you. Don't say anything. I have not say anything. I'll see you later. Huh? <laughs> He raped her? Yes, my princess. It was Ugunwa who told me. My princess, if you ask me, I'll suggest you investigate this. Esther is an ambitious person. Make sure she's not insinuating things online against the prince. I agree with you. Totally. But my mother has a way of using people to get information without their knowledge. You say something you're trying to say? I know, my princess. I was, I was trying to come in terms with what you just mentioned. My presence. I still see the attack on Madu as an act of sabotage. Of course I know. I know that definitely Ikem was the target. I'm certain that somehow, some someone who knows 
that we had to go to that house that morning. It was just you and I, the princess told. So what do you think? Njide, I only mentioned what I thought. I know that definitely this is not a coincidence. I know exactly what to do. I know what to do. This is our tribe black man. Who do your sister know she's losing off? So she's desperately looking for a way to create problem between us. Mother, she sounded very sure of what she was saying. And you know Uri Hani tells lies. And who tells lies? Me? Our Prince Joachim that first accused her? I never said that. I'm just saying that. What do you believe? I know that Prince Joachim is a complete gentleman. He's not capable of doing what your sister is accusing him of. I believed him when he said your sister wanted to have sex with him. If not, how would you explain the cheap way your sister threw herself to that murderer called Ikim? Hmm? Well, Prince Joaquin is coming to see me today. Then we'll know the truth. Now you sound like my daughter. And the truth will shame all those who want to undermine us. Um, Esther. Yes, Your Majesty. I want you to listen and think very well before you give an answer to this question. Did Prince Joachim rip you or not? Speak. The king asked you a question. <sighs> Esther, speak up. Say the truth so that the king can have mercy on you. May God help you that you are not lying against the prince. Mother, allow her answer the question. We're discussing about my husband to be here. The prince cannot commit an evil thing like this, except she lured him into it. Esther, yes, I asked you a question. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, you was. That he raped you or you lured him into temptation? Your Majesty, the prince raped me. I had no other option than to comply because I was scared of what he was going to do to me. You're a liar. Who paid you to dent the image of an innocent prince? Oh, mother, please! Can you be quiet for once? What did you say? I said be quiet! For Christ's sake, you cannot keep intimidating people. Esther here just confirmed that she was being abused and all you think about is who paid her. Does her pride as a woman not mean anything to you? And why, why do you always have these imaginary enemies all the time? Her pride as a woman? imaginary enemy how dare you talk to me in that manner esther is not a slave and will not be treated as one she is only a maiden in my father's palace and so her rights and her pride will be treated with respect well personal allegation is a very strong one i will look into this matter and see if your allegation against prince joachim has any substance but if i find out that you lying against him you will suffer the consequences Yes, Your Majesty. You are a liar. Whoever paid you to dent the image of an innocent prince will suffer the same fate with you. You may leave now. Father, Prince Joachim will be coming to see me today. Then we'll know if truly he ripped my maiden. You can't embarrass him with such questions. If at all it happened, she lured him into it. You can't embarrass this family with such questions. Mother! For Christ's sake, what are you? I am so disappointed in you. Oh, don't be silly! You are my daughter. You should learn how to respect me. Father, kindly permit me to be excused, okay? I, Please, Father, it's a... thank you. Jesus Christ! But you trip and fall, you fool. I'll break the news to them at once. That's nice of you. So when will you be free to see my mother? She has certain things to talk about. As soon as I clarify certain issues that trouble my mind. What troubles my angel? You. <laughs> I know you want us to be together, but never mind. 
we will spend the rest of our lives when we're both old. Hmm? Well, that would be if you tell me truthfully why you did what you did. How do you mean? Esther, my maiden. I was going to talk to you about that evil girl. That girl is evil. If not for the fact that I was well respected and self-willed, that evil would have lured me in having sex with her. She deserves no pity. In fact, she needs to be banished. Yes. She's telling the truth. What did she tell you? Huh? What bloody nonsense are you talking about? About the same way you tried to rape my elder sister. I am disappointed at you. Forever looking down on me. Where is the queen? I demand to talk to her at once. You shall not see the queen. You know why? Because I want you to get out of this palace this minute. Out! What did you say? You heard me right. Get out! Prince Joachim. Ugo. You didn't tell me my son-in-law is here. Well, that's because he's already on his way out. And I will not have anything whatsoever to do with this lunatic dog of a man, ever! What kind of talk is that? My dear queen, what has come over my dearest? Hugo, you must apologize to Prince Joachim right now. I didn't train you to be rude to people. No, I will not. If you wish for the conversation between you and this dog of a man to continue, that's all right. But I am done here. I will not have anything to do with a man that has no respect for me whatsoever. Oh, Excuse no. me. Oh, no. Come back here. Oh, no. Please, my prince, forgive her. She's a little girl. Her mind is poisoned right now. But I promise to talk to her, okay? to me. I trusted you. I treated you like my sister. How could you betray me like this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my princess. Please forgive me. You must be the Forgive you? Seriously? Forgive you? Do you know what your betrayal led to the death of Madhu? Rally can be still be declared a wanted man. What on earth were you thinking? I should never let my myself have caused me trouble. I'm sorry. I just trusted and love her so much. Please, I'm sorry. Kino, you're standing before me right now because I am not like my mother. to be my maiden from this minute. You will leave the palace and go seek your future somewhere else. Paula, you will take her to her room, let her pack her things and exit this palace. You will meet with the accountant. I have instructed you. Your wages will be paid accordingly. Please, I'm sorry. Please, please, what will I go to? Do you have any way to go? My parents are for me. Please, forgive me, my princess. Paula! Take her out.
Ajde has been thrown out of the palace. Did you see Princess Ure crying? What you did is unforgivable. If Njide swears for you, it will follow you for the rest of your life. I'm sad. I wish I could be given a second chance to, to correct things. Things are not just right in this palace. I will never trust anyone again. And to think that Njide is paying a huge price for her love and trust in me makes me want to leave this palace. But I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't have a home outside this palace. She deserves it. She's even lucky the princess didn't punish her beyond this. That is an unfair thing to say. If it have happened to anyone, princess Uru treated Njide and Paul as if they were so special. Let us all for her betrayal. I know we envy them, but to talk like this is inhuman. Where will she get a job like this to help her family? If she likes men a lot, she can as well see a man who will take her in as a wife. Huh? It's possible. I'm even surprised that Princess Ure chooses to help the real person who should suffer in this case. Esther should have been thrown out of this palace because she deserved to go out. But she's suffering already. Princess Ugo has rejected her. The Queen doesn't like her. It's only because of Princess Ure who she helped to betray that she's still here. I can't wait for tomorrow to come so that I can inform Esther of her arrival being thrown away from the palace. But we can't help it. It's very sad. You must be a very happy woman now, Elizabeth. You have succeeded in destroying everything within your reach. Thank you for the compliment. My daughter is at loggerhead over nothing. The palace guards and the maidens are at each other's throat. The silent killings, manipulations, and the systematic struggle for supremacy is on. Elizabeth, what do you really want? Nicely put, my husband. And if you must know, King Henry, where is it? I want you to live up to your expectation. You're becoming weak. You are losing it. Our enemies are plotting on how to dispose you as their king. And you think I will sit down here and watch that happen? Elizabeth, you are your own enemy, can't you see? This is the monster you created. The monster you created, bred, fed, and gave life to, and has now come around to consume you. That monster is what put you into power, and that monster is you. The moment you stop breathing, you give that monster no other reason than to dump you. Oh, Elizabeth. Now, can't you see that our sins are beginning to catch up with us? Elizabeth. It is time to reflect on our past and make amends and see that there are certain decisions that we make in the past that are no longer favorable. Nobility, my dear husband, they say it's not a bad right. It's defined by one's action. You can't just lose grip over those that fear and worship you simply by changing. By so do it, it spells doom. Elizabeth. I will no longer tolerate interference and nuisance from you. What will you do? What the hell do you think you can do? You bloody ingrate! Elizabeth, it is this your same attitude that pushed me to do all those horrible things I did that have now come around to haunt me. What I don't understand is when this cowardice in you started. 
I think it's ever since that wretched boy walked into this palace and humiliated you by asking for your daughter's hand in marriage. That's when all this started. Maybe you're right. But that boy also showed me that there is no difference between us and those out there that you hated with passion. He also reminded me of something. My cousin and his family that I destroyed all because of your own ambition. Truly, you do have a problem. It's for me to solve because I will not sit back and watch you compromise everything I want so hard to build. If not for any other reason, for my children's sake. Henry? <laughs> Your, children. Your children? What children? Your daughters? The daughters that you have worked so hard to tear apart. Elizabeth. Can you really sit back and think? If you can't, then think about how it all began. The things we heard that people suffered because of our evil manipulations. Should I not? I just killed a man. I took a man's blood. My own brother. A man that treats you like a servant is not your blood. What you did is justified. Oh, don't talk to me about justification because you don't know what that means. You don't. Look, look at his hands. Look, Elizabeth. Look at my hands. They're stained with blood. The blood of an innocent man. The king. Elizabeth, you led me into this. You led me into this. Now let me let to contest this. Don't talk to me about condemnation. No nation rises without sacrifice. No man achieves greatness without fighting for his existence. We are all animals. We fight and kill to live. We were comfortable, Elizabeth. We were comfortable. And God will have continued to bless us. Enough! For Oh, Elizabeth, there's no way forward. Can't you see? Henry! There's no way forward. The people are going to lynch me for the murder of their Henry! Kid. I know exactly how you feel right now. Do you? Yes. Oh. We need to act fast before the people get to know that the king is dead. Listen, what we need to do is to pack a few things and, and flee before they seal the gates of the kingdom. What stupid talk is that? When the throne awaits you? The throne? The, the the throne. You think we came this far to kill him and get him from this kingdom? Is that what you think? Listen, the throne. How can I ascend the throne when the people are angry at me? They are angry at me. Harry, the man with the gun gets the people support whether they like it or not. I have consulted with the kingmakers. And they are going to crown you the next king in line. They don't have an option. But there's one thing we need to do. Elizabeth, what is it? We must not allow the queen to get the people's sympathy. Else, we live in unborrowed time. What are you suggesting? I am suggesting that we wipe away everything that has to do with the king lineage from the surface of the earth. Elizabeth, that is the most bizarre idea I ever heard, if I heard one. Uh, my hands are not even dried from the king's blood. And you are suggesting something else? Come on, Henry. If you don't know, you are treading on the path of history. Your people, the people of this kingdom, will be so happy with you for freeing them from the hand of a tyrant and the queen that never cared for us subjects. <sighs> you were ordained a king ever before you were conceived. You are a king. Yes, you need it. Drink it. Finish it, finish it. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's my king. My king, long live the king! Yes, that is it.
against your majesty. I remain with the winning team. Good. Good. Now, secure the palace. And you, keep your eyes and ears open. Okay? Your majesty. What are you looking for? Secure the palace! Dick! All is not well. What do you mean all is not well? What is it? And where is the king? Well, um, that is why I'm here. Uh, something came up. Is the king alright? Because I've been worried since he went out for a meeting. Yes, yes, uh, there's no problem. But can I sit? Can we talk? Harry, don't tell me something has happened to the king. Because I had this dream about seeing blood everywhere. But Thomas wouldn't listen to me. Blood? Yes. I even tried stopping him. But he wouldn't listen to me. Forgive my interruption. News just came in and that the king is dead. Henry, tell me it's not true. Well, well um, I assure you, I know nothing of this. Uh, Grace, uh, excuse us, please. Stay where you are, Grace. Henry, I order you now to tell me what is going on. The king is your cousin, and you walked in here and. Oh. You knew about this, didn't you? She is rich. She is influential. Well, the criminals are with us now because they have no choice. I understand that. But they could be hiding us somewhere in town, plotting to execute us. Very. Greed can bring any man down. And that's the two we're going to hold. M -m Meaning? Tomorrow the council of elders will be meeting. Make them an offer they cannot reject. An offer? An offer? Have been what? Make them directors in the company. Are you out of your mind? If you do that, don't you know we are raising them to be able to plot against us in the future? No, it will mean buying time until we are ready for them. No, no. You don't know what you are dealing with here. You don't know them. They hate me and they, they will revolt against me in the slightest opportunity they have. Henry, once you are crowned the king, things will begin to happen to them. Those that will survive will live in fears. They will become like puppets dangling to your tongue. Okay, then. What happened to the shears that automatically grows the, uh, their next of kin? What bloody shears are you talking about? Pieces of papers that could easily be torn? For Christ's sake, give me some credit! You are married to a woman with the heart of lion. With me, you can never go wrong. I'm beginning to see wisdom here. But, but what happens if the queen is not found? Even if she makes it outside the kingdom, the kingmakers will accuse her of being the one that sent the bandits that killed the king and his guards. Come on, I've thought of it. Even before you accepted being part of rewriting the history of our great people. So calm down. We can't go beyond here. Those are security men. Then what do we do? My lady, let us, let us get down here, please. We, we can't get any other transport from here. And how do we escape from the kingdom? My lady, it is better to follow the bush than to get caught and probably killed. My baby. Nothing must happen to my baby. Your Majesty, we don't need to stay too long here. Then we investigate and... What do you want me to do? My lady, my lady, let us go down now. Please, let us go down. The 
just left this car? Who left this car? Who? Who left this car? Who left this car? Who? 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 Son of who are you? What is your name? Okorafo, sir. Okorafo. So where was the queen and the maidens headed? Uh, I have no idea, sir. I was only trying to help them out of the kingdom. You have to rip up your tongue before you can tell me the truth. Uh, I, I swear, sir. I was only trying to help them out of the palace. Just take this thing out of my sight. He has no useful information for us. Is that us. all you have to say? And they should take him out of your sight? That is not what is expected of you. Elizabeth, but this low life has no useful information for us. Anyone who works for that queen is our enemy and does not deserve to live.
have been on this since last night. I don't think we're on the right track. Maybe that driver didn't bring them this way. No. I was there. He wouldn't have panicked and tried to escape if he was not carrying them. The baby and made him may not be far from this place. Yes. A child. The child with the maiden is a prince. May God guide them. But I doubt if they will survive in this bush. I will not go after them. Yes. Let's go after them. No. No? Yes, no. Let's return home. Let's go. Do you think the prince is still alive? I do not know. I have heard nothing to that effect. What do you ask? It just crossed my mind.
What, what we need to do is, is change our ways. See, if the prince is alive, it means our enemies are somewhere waiting and plotting for the right time to strike. If that boy is alive, I'll personally make sure that he dies. No son of Flores will sit on this throne while I'm still alive. So, this is it. This is what it has always been about. Your hatred for Florence. Call it my personal war if you want. That woman treated me with a lot of disrespect. Even if she wakes from her grave today, I will still plot her downfall. God help us if the prince is alive. Because that young man will not forget in a hurry how the parents perished. At least I achieved my aim. I don't care if I die now. I don't. I don't care. Sad, but it's the truth. I am the one who betrayed you. If I hadn't revealed things to the one who, who I thought loved me, those men wouldn't have come for you. <laughs> and and mad would have still been alive today. It's okay. Stop crying. It wasn't your fault. You didn't tell him because you meant to betray me. You only confided in him because you trust him. I was sent out of the palace because of this. But I've been no grudge against anyone. I blame myself. Everything in life that happens is for a reason. Perhaps God meant us to meet this way. Dead man and come on freely. You might be of great help to me. I'll do anything. If not to please you, but at least to satisfy my conscience. I. I need to see Uri. A lot has happened since I left. How did you get to know that you were wanted? Mother's brother informed me. I lost my father in the process. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to hear this. It's alright. I need to clear my name. I can bury the man who took care of me from childhood. I can get Princess Wuri through the domestic helps in the palace. But again, you have to promise me that you will be careful. I have a feeling that the palace has something to do with Mado's death. why the police cannot do their job.
Why did I? I killed my own friend. Why are they looking for you? You're not a threat. Fools me the most. All this has been going on in this palace. Any of you that make babies in this palace, your kids will go to the motherless babies. Did you hear me? And I'm talking of bed in your head. Look at them. All these things are going on in this palace. Who's there? Your Majesty. This was going on. You never told me. We are leaving for the office. We'll go. Yes, mother? Where are you going? To the office, where I happen to be a director. I told you that we are going to Boduku Kingdom to honor Joaquin's uh, mother's invitation. I changed my mind. It's more important to me to protect my investment. Your investment? But well, people are paid to take care of that in the office. Those people will not protect my investments like I will. This will be a disrespect if we don't honor her invitation. Disrespect? Oh. Did she consider it as disrespect when her son read my maiden and sold Ugo. my sister? You dare not talk to me in that manner. When did you begin to be rude to me? Well, since you chose this honor in place of ambition. Ugo, stop. Do not disrespect mother in front of the domestic staff. I will not tolerate that. Here I am. I'm sorry, mother. I said it without thinking. Then can we please go? You have succeeded in turning her against me. You can go. Oh, thank you, mother. Oh, can my maiden come with me? A maiden that betrayed you? She did not betray me. She was afraid to fight for her rights because of what you would do to her. Come on, darling. There you go. You heard what I said. Look at how their ears are all open, waiting for something to talk about. Gossip! Take care of them. Your Majesty. Now, this is a note of warning to all staff of this palace. I will not tolerate any form of amorous dealings amongst you. Anyone caught shall be incarcerated. Do I make myself clear? So, the name still remains Honorable Ufere. What troubles you, my queen? I am not troubled. Nothing. Nothing? Then why are you pacing like a dog on heat? Yes, I'm on heat. I'm on heat because of your treachery and betrayal. I'm on heat because you're trying to turn my children against me. You want them to be like you, weak and foolish. Elizabeth, what a shame. It is a shame if you still consider me as weak after you have pushed me to bush her innocent people, Elizabeth. I am as evil as you are, can't you see? Now if my children have chosen to be different from me, then I will give thanks to God because at least their souls can be saved. But Elizabeth, as for you and I, we are doomed and condemned. Ah. Only you, not me. It's you that is doomed, and not me. My dear friend Oka, how are you? Are you promising me in the palace? If nobody does, I will. I know. So how is everything going in the palace? It's the same way you left it. Perhaps even worse. And the queen? That witch. She's still off to her usual antics and mischiefs. What about Princess Ure? Is she home? No, she went to the office with Paula and Princess Ugo. Princess Ugo? Isn't that amazing? We all left speechless. The Queen nearly had a heart attack. Sure things are happening. I guess he had to take me leaving the palace to pave way for a chance. Ah, you're not being fair. You haven't asked me of Aki. 
I was going to. <laughs> you still love him, don't you? No. My heart is strong now. Anyway, Oka, I have to leave now. I just came to say hello to you. I appreciate it. Huh? Try and come and see us next time you have a chance to. I will. Huh? Tell everybody I missed them. I will do. Uh, take care. Why is it so difficult for you to get that commoner? First time you had the chance to handle him, you messed it up by killing the wrong person. Are you listening to me, you fool? Look for that boy. Search for him. I want him dead. That boy might even be in the Woduku kingdom. Get that boy and get his job done. Don't tell me stories. Did you hear me? Who is there? Right? Your Majesty. You dare not stand there when I speak with my daughters. You get lost from my sight. Out! What does she do now? This is my house, my palace. When you marry that Prince Charming you're waiting for, you give others in your own house, not here. Wrong! This palace belongs to our parents. And we will live freely in it, just like you live freely in your parents' house. We are not your slaves, and you cannot choke us. No. Ugo. Enough. No, oh, allow her. She has the mouth to disrespect me after everything I did to make her a better person. A better person, you said? By showing your silly negative ideas down my throat. Enough. Enough. Ugu, who speak to her? Oh, please, I'm done with this. Excuse me. Ah. What's happening to me? What is happening to me? Mother, nothing is happening to you. Maybe you're the one that needs to look into yourself and don't preach to me. Don't you dare preach to me. Because you and your father want to ruin everything I want so hard to build. But that will not happen. Because I am the creator. I make things happen. And very soon, my dear, you're going to find out who this woman you call mother really is. You know what, mother? Obviously, you are in a very bad mood and I do not want to take the hit. And um, are you satisfied with the rulings of the uh, palace so far? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Uh, yeah. Your Majesty, I'm going out. At this time? Yes, Father. I have an important appointment that I want to catch up with. Hmm. Well, you hardly go out. So if you must, why stop you? But um, you must go with the security man. Father, you know I object to that. I'm just like any other person on the street. Why do I need to carry security to announce my presence? Because you're my daughter. That's why. You're my daughter and I have enemies everywhere. Enemies that will stop at nothing to get back at me. Well, Father, maybe you have enemies. I don't. <laughs> this is my town. If my people do not accept me simply because I am my father's daughter, I will force them to because I'm not ready to go anywhere else. That does make sense. Well, okay, um, <clears throat> if you must, then you, you may leave. However, you promised me to be careful. Yes, father, I will be. Good. Oh, have you seen your mother's consent? <sighs> 
Brother, please. I'm an adult. I don't have to seek mother's concerns every time I want to go out. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, how you may leave, but please be careful. I will be, Father. Good. Thank you. Yes, Your Majesty. Is it not rather strange that my daughter will want to go out at this time and refuse to go with security men? It is strange indeed, Your Majesty. Hmm. Quite strange. Why do you think it is so? Um, Your Majesty, perhaps a business trip she doesn't want you to know about, Your Majesty. Business trip. You can't be that stupid. You can't see the countenance on my daughter's face. That when a woman behaves like that, she is going out to meet with a man. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Um, I've not been fortunate enough to have uh, a woman who's willing to take any risk for me, Your Majesty. Lord help you, you fool. Mm. How? That would not happen. When well, you fail the simple assignments given to you, how would you not fail? Dealing with a woman who would do anything to occupy your heart. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I will improve. Well, now you have another opportunity to prove yourself. Go after her. Undiscovered. Yes, Your Majesty. And report back to me. Hmm? Your Majesty. So if you like to go out there and front it as usual, but here's your chance to do it right. You're hungry for fortune And you're looking for power Right from the start There is wickedness in your heart Your spirit is a tiger And your heart is wild like a wolf But it's true Everything you do Surely comes back to you What you reap is what you sow No matter what you do or where you go If you love to destroy destruction We'll be knocking at your door What you reap is what you sow No matter what you do or where you go If you love to destroy destruction I don't need your call. She has gone out. Which is very unusual. Are you listening to me? Follow her. Find out where she's going. Find out if she's going to see the subject. I don't need to tell you what you do, do I? Eliminate at sight. On point! Christ's sakes, not now. Her Majesty the Queen, uh, we're about to go out for the mission right now. I don't know, is there further instructions you'd like us to carry out? Strange. She didn't even 
Arthur Wood. Maybe she. Shut up! Get your flat ass out of here and get me sleep. To so get out! Get what? Just give me one good reason why I I I could I, I would punch your face. Ah! Ah! But you are the leader now. You say I should follow your leader. Ah! You are a dumb fellow. Get into the car. Ah! I thought I'd never see you again. I'm alive, that's the most important thing. They were still walking through that way, but the description does not fit the princess. What do you mean? Sir, they said one of them was dressed like a commoner. Came down from a car and walked into that hotel. Now, if you weren't very foolish, you would have realized that Princess Uri is capable of anything. Now, let's go. I saw the king's assistant on a roof for a, by the reception and a guard. I think he followed the princess down here. What? Oh, oh my god, you know what? Let's just leave here right now. I don't trust anyone. Let's just go. Everybody go. Go. Follow me. Think of it before. Oh my God, 
princess! <laughs> Welcome, my princess. How good! Today remains the most memorable day of my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm looking for my sister, Princess Ure. <laughs> my princess. Oh, you know, princess being a dog like this. I'm even surprised seeing you here. Well, did anybody come here from the palace? Perhaps look for someone? Yes, yes, the, the palace got her head, and the man they came to see her to do business. And where are they? Let me take you to the room, my princess. Oh, thank you. Since they're not in their room and you said they came this way, where else would they be? Uh, my princess, I suggest you wait at the reception. Maybe you want to see another guest. They will soon be out. Uh, that's alright, thank you. You can go back to your duty post. Thank you, my princess. Um, yeah, beautiful. Uh, actually, we were sent from the palace to protect the princess. And we saw her coming in the zoo, That's nice. Um, the princess went through this way. Oh, thank you very much. A moving target. Fuck. Man, we are so doomed if we don't leave here right now. Back to this house? Thing is my dear. How dare you? Do you know she's in contact with your father's enemies? My father does not have enemies. Except of course, the one you created. Now I can see that you're even worse than your father. Well, perhaps because he is my father and his blood flows in my veins. Your sister has influenced you with her sharp tongue. <laughs> well, she's my sister and she probably got a sharp tongue from some. But you get this thing off my sight. Watch it, young lady. You're treading on dangerous ground. Of my sight.
Investigations at the, the scene of the incident. They seem to be hired hands. Apparently, they were not after Ugo. And who were they after? Your Majesty, I. It, it seemed they were after Ikem. I want those bastards behind this torch! Tonight! And as for you, Kim, you bring it to me. I want to know who he is, and I want to know why he wants to destroy my home. Do you understand that? She died because of me. Because of me. Oh, God. She died because of us. Something brought her to that place. Look, I know my sister very well. I know her, okay? I know that she came to that place either to warn me of something or to stop me from doing something. She wanted so badly to meet with you and to apologize for what she had done to you. And now she's just... My sister is dead. 
It's okay. It's a great loss. <laughs> she never truly knew me. <laughs> she truly never knew me. <laughs> I forced the king's assistant. Traced it to that place. Then <laughs> your sister. Who oh, then are the other men? And where did it come from? <laughs> no, man. Start talking. You have two options, and both lead to death. Talk! We didn't mean to kill her, but the guard with her attacked us first, too. Who was your target? And why? I don't know who we're after. That thing's the contract, and I escort him. Whoever he asks me to kill, I do so. All right. I can see you're not willing to cooperate with us. I didn't ask you who sent you. Because we already know that person. And that same person tipped us off on how to get you. And gave instructions never to let you leave. We are only messengers. The Queen cannot... Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead! The Queen cannot do what? All right, enough of this rubbish. Listen, it was the same queen who ordered your death. Look, we are all on the same page. Um, I could let you run away to another kingdom. You know, the royal house uses us to do their dirty jobs, okay? You're a noble man, yes. You both work for the queen. We missed him the first time and killed his friend. But you know what? I hate people like you. When I kill for the kingdom, I am justified. But when I kill for money, I remain guilty for the rest of my life. you shedding crocodile tears, Elizabeth? You murdered your own daughter. How can you say a thing like that? Well, the foolish thug you sent to murder you came ended up killing your daughter, you see? And it was a mistake. Obviously it was a mistake, because in your foolish wisdom, you failed to see that God is angry against us for what we have committed. Your foolishness, Henry. If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. Elizabeth, how could I have listened to you? How? When the boy has done me nothing wrong. Elizabeth, why? Is it not obvious, Henry? Is it not obvious that this boy is out to challenge your authority? This boy is dangerous and should be eliminated because you don't even know who sent him. 
don't. You know, the very first day I lay my eyes on that boy, I knew there was something different about him. He only confirmed that by summoning the courage to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. I knew he was not just another commoner. And you didn't feel threatened? You didn't even try to find out who sent him? By trying to kill that boy was doing what you couldn't do. And you lost a child in the process, Elizabeth. We lost a daughter in the process. Our child in the process, Elizabeth! You know why? Because you are living in fear. Fear for the atrocities not committed against humanity, Elizabeth. Henry, it was because of you. It has always been about you. Do you know why? Because I want the best for you. No, Elizabeth, no. It has never been about anyone else but you. Henry. Yes. Oh, God. Elizabeth, stop crying. It won't help now. Crocodile's tears is wasted now, Elizabeth. Seek forgiveness. And as for me, I leave my fate in the hands of God. In the hands of God. What you reap is what you sow. No matter what you do or where you go. If you love to destroy, destruction will be knocking at your door. What you reap is what you sow. You do where you go. If you love to destroy, destruction will be knocking at your door. You can't cry all night. You hold in yourself. You don't. You don't understand. Father instigated a lot between us. Just when we became sisters again. Just when we became best friends. Death came. Death took my only sister away from me. So, I feel so devastated. Believe me, it was meant to happen this way for a reason. No one wishes death, but death, though painful. Now, not like this. No, Uka was, was just a child. A child who had so much dreams. My sister was going to conquer the world. Received the news about Madhu's death, and then I was I was declared wanted. I deposited his corpse in the mortuary and fled. I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. I, I never knew. 
is something we must all learn to bear. Not too heavy for us to carry. We must, we must quickly move on. Because that is what those we love and the lost wish for us. You know, you have nothing. But you have so much, you have so much courage. The same way there's a will, there's a way. I guess what propels me was the beauty of life itself. We are people out of nothing. Work themselves so hard on becoming noble men in this society. Yet those who are privileged end up having nothing. Life is a mystery to many. But for those who have knowledge of existence, I want you to tell me everything. I mean, I want to know everything about who you are. Just tell me everything, please. I see. 
I see the face of a man that I am ready to die for. You see a man that is ready to do anything to make you happy. But you must stop crying. Tears are not enough to prepare you for the task ahead. You are your parent to my child now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You have proven to be a great source of strength. I don't know what I would have done if if you were not here. I don't know how I, I would have gone through the night. You would have. You have more courage than than that you had made me. You have more will than nations put together. Be strong. Because the world don't have a space for weak minds. Okay. Okay. Be strong. Thank you. I have to go now. I'm sure Father is waiting for me. To the hospital to see my sister's remains. I just, I just wish you would, you would come with me. alive the way it is. An empty void that we must fight to fill. I wish to know my parents. I wish to know that mother who died for her son to live. I wish to know that brave maiden who died making sure that my mother's wish was carried out. You've said it all. I will be strong. I will be strong in my heart. I will be strong in my soul. Jiri will take care of you. Okay, um, nobody comes to my chambers, so keep safe. Okay. Ah, I need to get dressed. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. And was there ever a time when a king and his pregnant wife were being murdered or sent out of the kingdom? Oh, where did you hear such a story? A friend of mine. But, but did it ever happen? Uh, well, in, in what kingdom did that happen? Uh, I don't know, but uh, the friend of mine happens to be the king's son. The mother had him in the forest while trying to flee the kingdom. Unfortunately, she died and the maiden saved the infant's child. Uh, Father, did I, did I say something wrong? Uh, who is this your friend? And where does he live? You do not know all my friends. But the question is, did it ever happen? Uffre, yes, Your Majesty. Don't this car back now and go back to the palace. Ye yes, Your Majesty. Right now? Yes, Your Majesty. Father, what is wrong? Harry, get hold of yourself. I want you. I want you. Did I not? The end is near. Turn this car back now! Yes, Harry! Father, are you okay? Turn the car back now! Yes, Your Majesty. behaving like a child. Someone, maybe one of your detractors, told her the story. She knows nothing. No, Elizabeth. It's a game. It's a game. No wonder I felt that way the very first day I played that as well. Yes. I, I can see the resemblance now. I see it now. It's, it's, it's the boy. Are you drunk? Or you're confused over your daughter's death? The child never lived. The guards told us that the pregnant queen and the maidens were killed in the bush. No, Elizabeth, the child lives. The child lives and is him. I am sure the boy has come to her. Even if the child lives and is him, don't you think he doesn't know who he is? Because if he knows, your enemies would have plotted on how to unseat you by now. Oh, oh, oh. It is the boy. The son of Thomas, the blood that I shed. Oh, the innocent blood. Shut up and sit down. Shut up. Father. What's going on? Oh, there is nothing. I, I am just trying to confirm some things from your mother. Why not tell her the truth? Why not tell her that you're afraid to face the things you did in the past? A king that cannot face reality. Careful, careful what you say. Only cowards that are afraid to confront that which will eventually consume them. If what we discussed is true, I will personally hunt him down. I will squeeze a life out of him because no child of Florence will sit on this throne as long as I live. Never. It will not happen. Mother, what's going on? Mother! Mother, mother, talk to me. What's going on? The end is here. Mother. mother, what's going on? What were you and Dad talking about? So you've chosen to be my daughter. I gave you an opportunity to be my daughter, but you chose to be your father's. Why not go in there and ask him what is troubling him? That is, if he's man enough to tell you why.
father, tell me, am I really your daughter? Why would you ask such a question? I doubt it. Of course, you are my daughter. No doubt that you are my father. I doubt it. Seeing your sister's corpse, you're traumatized. I did not see her. It's okay. You know, something is wrong. Something is going on somewhere. There's something going on, and my parents don't want to discuss it. What was the name of your mother? Florence. Why do you ask? Wait, wait, wait. You're not, you're not sure, right? Well, are you sure? So I was told. Wait, well, why do you ask? This, this cannot be true. No, it, it can't be true. What can't be true? No, don't, I'll, I'll, I'll just come back. Where did you hear my mother's name? What do you know about my mother? What do you mean? Let go of me. I'm sorry. If, if you heard my mother's name somewhere, or you heard something about my mother, and you don't want to tell me, then you're not my friend. I consider those who who walk against me as enemies. So what are you? I mean, what are you? Your curiosity led you to the truth about your father? And this is true. Are you listening to me? You are my daughter. But I will not hesitate to silence you if your stupidity leads to destroying everything I've worked so hard all these years. Oh my God! Mother! And if you love your father so much and you still want to enjoy the privilege of being a princess without being lynched by your people, you will tell us where Ikem is hiding because your father's enemies are using him against us to destroy us. But oh, mother, you are already destroyed. What? If you and father are behind this. Enough of this. You have said enough already. Now, I am your father and I will tell you everything you need to know because I'm the man behind this hideous crime as you call it. Oh, now, come with me. No, oh, yeah. This is true. Oh my God. Father. Oh my God. Father, tell me this is not true. Come with me. Too fair. That's your mother. I never lied to you. Because you are as foolish as your master. But I'm going to entrust the life of your master in your hands. Your master is about to make a terrible mistake that we might pay with our blood. You know what that means, don't you? 
So are you going to stand there and watch him make such a mistake? No, Your Majesty. I love life and I have a family too. I don't care about your family. All I care is maintaining the legacy I've come to enjoy. Which is power. Now, I'll tell you what to do. Come closer. Father, if truly I am your daughter, tell me the truth. Who is Florence? And Father, did you kill her? What, what are you talking about? Father, don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Did you and mother conspire to kill Ikem's parent? Did you say Ikem? Did you say Oh my God. It is true. It is true. Ikem did not lie to me. He's a prince. And you and mother conspired to kill his parents. Ure, Ure, please. Please, you might love us, my daughter. But mind what you say, please. Because you do not know what evil you are about to unleash. Please. Father, please. Father, please. Tell me. Tell me these things are not true. Father, I beg of you, just, just tell me that they are all lies. And that you don't kill anybody. Father, please tell me it is not true. Father, please. I have no time and you have no choice. He came has come to kill the king. The queen and your princess. So I am relying on you to tell me where Ikim is. It is a royal duty you owe the royal household. And not a betrayal like your mind might be telling you right now. I, I, I have no idea where he is. It is very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate that you have chosen to betray those who housed you. Close to you and fed you. Now listen. Princess Ure is with the king and she's crying because she has been told the truth. Her mind is so clouded in grief and she has personally asked me to ask you to cooperate with us. I mean, you could consult with her if you like. That is if you doubt me. No, no, I'm not doubting you. I'm not doubting you. You do? Then let's go meet her with the king. She said um, she could not personally tell us, but we could consult with Njide. Perhaps I should consult with Njide, and of course that will give Njide an opportunity to get into the Queen's good books. And you know, trust me, that will be very, very pathetic for you. He's here. He's here. I need to beg his forgiveness. Please. please. Oh my God. Please, my daughter, please. 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 Oh, God. 
I have to beg his forgiveness now. Please. I know, I know you're embarrassed and disappointed by your father. Give me for the intuition, the majesty. Princess Uri aroused my curiosity when she asked me of my mother's name. Young man, I need to speak with you. I, I need to beg your forgiveness. See, what happened to your parents was an unfortunate incident. Please forgive me. Please. I beg your forgiveness again. Forgive me. Please. What? Elizabeth. Harry. You shouldn't negotiate with an enemy who is here to destroy us! Brother! What are you trying to do? What you should have done if you weren't as stupid as your father! Lower the gun, please. He came and suffered as it is. We need to beg his forgiveness, please. I don't see God anywhere here. So if he dies, peace returns to this family. Mother, no! Don't do this! Don't! Your no Majesty! Don't do this! Disarm the queen immediately, I order you. Ufere know what he stands to gain by being by my side. Don't come near me. She's your cousin. <laughs> take, take, take care of her. <laughs> oh, God! God! God, take me! Your hungry for fun. 